Whatever you're wearing right now, Mack Weldon is better. What is Mack Weldon? Well, it's a men's essentials brand that believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. They even have a line of silver underwear and shirts that are naturally antimicrobial. What does that mean? It means they eliminate odor. Oh, Mack Weldon, they, they want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it and they will still refund you. No questions asked. Not even one. Go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off by using the promo code Andy. and gentlemen, it's the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project. Here are your hosts, Matt Gourley and Andy Daly. Hello! Hi! Welcome to the Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project. I'm Matt Gourley. I'm Andy Daly. And here we are in episode, which episode is this, six or something like that? I think so. Who cares? Let's say it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have a very exciting one for you today. Uh, this one uh, is similar in some ways to the Bill Carter uh, Get Fit Now podcast in that it is meant to uh, be be played while you're doing something. And that one, Bill Carter, cooked up a podcast to be listened to while you exercise. Interactive. Interactive. Right. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what this one is, too. This is an interactive podcast that you are meant to put on at a party. Right. Now, we were split on this. This is the first yeah. time this happened. Yes. Split Andy decision. really pushed for this one. I yeah. thought these people were huge assholes. Oh, no doubt about it. Yeah. Everyone in the... Yeah. But Dude, this these people are monsters. Yeah. This isn't the Matt Gourley podcast pilot project. This is the Andy Daly pilot project podcast. You're distancing yourself from these monsters. I, <laughs> I, and I get it. You get to make the final call. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so these people are are reprehensible. It's 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 a uh, it's really a trip into into a dark dark place yeah. from beginning to end uh, on this podcast. Um, but I but to me I, that's it seemed worthwhile because of the interactive nature of it. Warts and all. Too. Yeah, yeah, because it's a different take on the podcast, and that and so the idea is you're supposed to get a group of people together for a party and put this on and listen to it. And I just thought, yes, in execution that idea. Uh, is is horrific uh, again and again, but the idea itself I think makes it makes it worth listening to. And there's a true celebrity guest on this one, which is always yeah. something that makes it worth listening to, in my view. Well, I'll tell you what, as yep. we start this, I'm going to listen again in real time. Okay, and when we come out the other side. Yes, maybe I will have changed my mind. <laughs> I doubt that, but yes, uh, maybe you will. Okay, so this gentleman's name is Danny Mahoney. Uh-huh. He is a New Yorker, died in the wool, died in the wool New Yorker, and uh, and he has gathered some of his friends together for a podcast called "Shut Up and Have Fun" with Danny Mahoney, and it starts out chaotic and it ends chaotic, and in the middle is nothing but chaos. Uh, so please enjoy this with or without friends, uh, however you like. And there's a recipe in here, by the way, that I should say I have tried to make this, <laughs> and. Uh, I've tried to eat it. Yeah, it's. Uh, let's just say, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. But uh, all right. Uh, thanks for joining us. Please enjoy. Shut up and have fun with Danny Mahoney. Get up out your seat and dance. Get up out your seat and dance. Hey, put that fucking down. Hey, I'm talking, put that down. Hey, fuck you in the eye. Fuck Play. you. Put that down. Could just put it down. I want to play down. one Springsteen song. You're not going to play any songs. Every fucking time Jesus. you come over here, I'm going to tell you it's not a fucking toy, <sighs> that guitar. That guitar cost me $150. It's not hey. a fucking toy. Don't fuck here. around with it. Here's your $150 fucking dollars. Don't give him out of it, though. I don't want... I, the, and it also has sentimental fucking value. You know that. Put the goddamn thing God, down. Thank you. Play Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm trying to Let's get started. Are we ready to get started? Yeah, I'm too fucking loud in my... Uh, fuck. How do you turn this shit down? Turn the fucking knob. Can you do it over there? What number are you? All right, fine. What number are you? I don't know. He's doing it over there. Now I can't hear myself at all. Oh no. Uh, I really, I literally can't. You good? Because you guys fucked. I've been ready for like an hour. I got a doctor's appointment in two hours. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Fine. I think two hours is going to be enough time. I literally, (laughs) you don't know this guy. Maybe that's all. That's all I need. That's great. That's perfect. It's even too much. Shut up. It's fucked up. All right. That's fine. I'm moving my microphone. Can we start with this? Please. 
Welcome to Shut Up and Have Fun with Danny Mahoney. Oh. My name is Danny Mahoney, and this is how this works. This is a podcast now. We're getting into podcasting. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Now, I was a plumber for many years. That was my profession. I was fired from uh, the plumbing business that I founded. I founded a plumbing oh, business. Sh- Donnie, I know you heard this, but could you not? Oh. Could you literally not snore? I got a while doctor's appointment, oh. hour and 57 I'm aware minutes. of your doctor's appointment. You know how many times you told me about this Jesus, doctor's appointment? Twice. No. Does the you also emailed me about this doctor's appointment? Yeah. This doctor's appointment was in the text message you sent me? I, I just what got What do you got to go to the doctor for? Well, I got to go for my, uh, my, my uh, I got runned over by a bridge. She's got to Excuse get- me? Yeah, or, well, I was running over a bridge, but I got runned over by a car. You got, you got run over by a car and a bridge? Like yeah. one of his uh, toes. We're going to talk about like that in a minute. one of his toes. Yeah. He's going oh, to the okay. doctor to get his head examined. <laughs> Shut up, Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. All right, look. Anyways, uh, I was fired. That's the important part of the story yeah, of my yeah. biography, is I get fired for, by my own fucking nephew. All right, which is bullshit. Yeah. And then, you know, as you guys know, I went through a dark time. I was going to commit suicide. I bought the heaviest coat commercially available. I was going to wear it into the ocean. Yeah. They told me that. They made it clear to me. Yeah, but you want a heavier coat like, than you this. You couldn't find the rocks, You right? didn't fill it with rocks. You didn't I didn't. Fill it well, with rocks. that's right. But anyways, I didn't do it. I decided not to kill myself instead. Now I'm too quiet. Can you turn me up a little bit? Jesus. If I'm oh. yelling, I'm too loud. If it, no wonder I want it just yourself. right in my fucking ears. I have a right to have it right it's in my fucking ears. It's not too late to walk into the fucking ocean. Shut yeah, up. do it right this time, Virginia <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> you half-assed a Virginia Wolf. Even she got it right. Anyways, I started a new business called Life of the Party Incorporated. Yeah. And the way yeah. that it works is that people invite me to their parties, any kind of a fucking party. It doesn't matter what it is. And I show up and I make the party fantastic. I lead people in all the popular dances. And we play games. And we tell jokes. And we have conversations. And it goes fucking great every fucking time I did yeah. it. Just this oh, past yeah, weekend. yeah. No, you show you up at a party. You're fucking blast. <laughs> it no, is. You, well, did it. It is you did it for the chance. Charity that I kind of worked right. with that one uh, fresh face with, fresh the, face. with the kids who were born with fucked up faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, got it was some a fucked great up faces party, on those kids. Know? But seriously, though, those are some fucked up faces. Yeah, like they're never going to be good looking. They aren't, right? Like, What's know. the point of the chat? What are you trying to do? Put- well, like make them a little less ugly. Oh, okay. I didn't understand that because I kept this talking about- started because one of our kids was born- Super fucked he up. He had a face that you know? it looked like an oven mitt. And yeah. so we had to fix it. Yeah. And she starts this charity. Who are you talking about, Paulie or Little Pete? Little Pete. Little yeah, Pete. Little Pete. Yeah, we didn't even know if it was a boy or girl. That's how bad it was at first. No. Yeah, yeah. She got it fixed up and we chose girl. Okay, good. You yeah, had I mean, to choose? They told you you had to choose between well, yeah, boy and girl? Yeah, we had already named a Little Pete, but we wanted a girl. Yeah, so yeah. So we made her a girl. Yeah. So now, now she is a girl or not? Are you she think, is a girl. Are you I don't like fucking girl? know. All right, all right. All I know right. is she just bleeds me nickels and dimes me. All right, look. But the point of this is... Hey. What? I'm going to tell you why this ain't going to work. Excuse me? <laughs> Nobody likes you, Danny. Fuck you, Nobody Donnie. Nobody likes you. Fuck you. What, and you hey, think people like you? You got to come... Yeah, people fucking people like me. People fucking don't like you. Nobody you, likes you, Danny. I'm sitting in a room with three of my best friends right now, yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. We it? put up with you. We put up Yo, What do you mean you? you put up with me? But putting a, putting on a party, going to people's parties, that's like putting your dick on hey, somebody's face. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I ask you to come down here and help me with this, and this is what I get? This is Help him get you. Give me honest advice. Don't tell me why people aren't gonna like the fucking thing I'm doing while I'm doing it. Well, fuck you. All right. Fuck. Next just time we over come there. over, at least you're just wearing thermal underwear bottoms. That's it. Put yeah. on some fucking clothes. It's a fucking radio. It doesn't no, fucking Danny, matter I don't what like you, you wear. Sometimes. Thank you very much, Maria. All right. Anyway. For everyone listening at home, yeah. Danny's an ugly piece of crap, Donnie, and he's got a shit personality. All right, you're an asshole. All right. Anyways, here's the situation. Now I'm doing it like a podcast. I just want to explain to people what the podcast is, and then we'll get started with it. I, we, we, you, the idea is you're supposed to play this at your party. Throw a party and put this podcast on, and you're going to hang out with us. Like, we're going to be part of your party crew, right? Like no whatever. one ever does. No yeah. one does this What are you thing? talking about? Why are you trying to host Stop a trying to talk people Nobody out of the thing that they're doing right now. for a party. Stop trying to tell people why this is not good. Nobody does that on a you TV show or radio show. You can't just put something in a culture that didn't exist before. Yeah, you can I you got do. one hour, 49 minutes Jesus before I got to beat it. Fire plug. We're going to get you a doctor. Who gives a shit? What you is it, Mariana? All right, go ahead. Get through the gut. Hold on. Does anyone want a skinny mug? Yes. Yeah. Are you going to make them? No yeah. Finally, somebody makes a fucking drink. Put it in my belt canteen like I wear. Put some stevia in that. You yeah. throw a party. You put this podcast on. You party with me and my friends, and we're going to play games, and we're going to sing songs, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So if you're not right now sitting around with a bunch of your friends, turn this off. Get some friends around and turn it back on, because that's the way it fucking works. So if that has to happen, then now I say, 
Hey! hey. hey. Right. You found some friends. Surprise! Hey. Welcome. Good for you. Happy birthday, you fucking mutt. Just shut up and have fun. Oh yeah, I should make that clear. This is a pop. pop what is what is a pilot? It's a podcast pilot. Every episode of this is going to be a different kind of party. Today we're right. just starting basic. We're doing a cocktail party. Oh cocktail yeah. Party. So yeah. next episode Skinny maybe Mark. is going to be like yeah. uh, a wake or something like that. And then how about a blast? Huh? A blast. You're just having a blast. Sure, right. Just a basic, just a blast. How about yeah, fucking like a sausage party? party huh? Sausage, yeah. sausage party. Sausage party. We'll tear Mariani's stay home. Sausage party. <laughs> Fine. Hey, I like sausage. So man. far, it's going great. Everything is going perfect. Now, let's go around the horn and talk about who's here. Donnie. I'm here. I'm here to party. Donnie Mahoney. No Donnie relation Mahoney. to me, Danny Mahoney. Thank God. We're not related. Yeah, I don't have to spend holidays with you, you piece of shit. Yeah. You fucker. Who do, who do you fucking <laughs> spend holidays with? Yeah. My parents, who are both still alive. God bless them both. Yeah? Yeah. How are they doing? Very badly. Yeah? Both in a home. Are they in a home? Yeah. My, so you go over to that home? My brother Terrence is taking care of them. So oh, that's nice. Yeah, I go visit them once a year. Sounds like an easy job if they're in a fucking home. Just tell yeah. them, hey, don't, don't, don't guilt me. You're taking care of mom and dad. You put them in a fucking home. Yeah, and let me tell you something. I'm about to give them the pink juice myself. What he does won't that let mean? them die. You squirt them with a pink juice. What are you talking about? You put the pink juice into their IV. What kills the fuck them. What are you talking about? Right away. Hey, what is listen, the pink juice? Well, like listen, a pink lemonade? When your parents are in the No, no, it's poison juice. You put it in the IV when your parent when you want to when you want to kill them off. Jesus, I don't you know. Unplug I have it, fucking idea what you're talking about. If you unplug right. them, yeah, all the alarms go off. Is this something that came to you in a dream? No, no. This came to me in an inspirational moment There's of There's such thought. a thing as a pink poison that, you, that everybody knows you can put into Because you're saying it like everybody fucking knows what it is. I don't know what color it is, okay? All right, then you don't know anything. We're going to argue about colors. Why don't you just say what everybody else says? Pull the plug. Oh, how about I'll say you're welcome for coming and doing you a favor by being your stupid what thing. What kind of a favor is this? We're hanging out. We're having fun. It's a party. We just happen to be talking into a fucking microphone. Well, it's harder than going to work, so... uh Oh, uh, really? Just, you know, yeah, this is horrible. Anyway. Wow, I, <laughs> anyway. That's you know, an insult, because what you do for a living is you fucking run after rats in the sewers. Yeah, so what? <laughs> yeah. Every city needs a rat catcher, all right? It's a right. necessary job. This is going to be better than Unlike that. Unlike party that. host podcast, that's, guys. So, uh, that's a real job, and it's actually very hard. Yeah, tell asshole. that to your kids and see how they uh, react. I don't have fucking kids, and you know it, yeah, and that's I, rude. You fucking, what? Are you screws done? Yeah. Are yeah. you done? All right. We go. got Fireplug. What's going on, Fireplug? Well, my name's Fireplug. I got that name because I used to hang out by the Fireplug a lot. But it wasn't my uh, my given nickname. My uh, my given nickname was Stoops because before I was born, I used to hang out on the Stoops a lot because my pregnant ma, was she. that's how she got me pregnant. She... Ah, uh, wait a minute. What? Yeah. Wait. You're trying to say that you had a given... What's your real... What, I never knew your proper name. My real name yeah. is Stoops. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, they named the you name Stoops? Stoops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But then when I was born, I didn't hang on the stoops. I hanged yeah. by the fire plug, so they named me fire plug. Yeah. I don't know what's so fucking tough to get that through your squirrely little ears. All right, all right, fire plug. Jesus Christ. No, what were you doing by that fire plug? Why are you hanging out over there all the well, time? Well, sometimes you got to do things. Oh, and boy. you need the shadow of a big fire plug to hide behind. Sounds like there's some hard yeah. memories. Yeah. Some hard yeah. memories over there in a mean street. You don't got to talk about it, don honey. Thanks. No. Mariana yeah. is Hi. here. Mariana, married to Fireplug. Yeah. Mrs. Fireplug. I fucking love that prick. Going uh -huh. on 16 years. Seriously? Lucky guy, yeah. Fireplug. You're Lucky guy. You're yeah. telling me. I I got this beautiful girl, yeah. and what the listeners don't know is I got a withered arm, like one of those haunted trees. It That's looks right. like one of those tr tree branches from a haunted tree. Yeah, but tree. I don't mind, you know? I mean, I, I, maybe I blame him a little bit for the fucked up face of a little Petey, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah. Because there's obviously some genetic fuck up going on over here. His face looks like your arm. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. How did my, the arm get that way? Uh, well, well, I was born that way because I got yeah. a. There's a whole uh, dominant gene fuck up, uh -huh. and you, yeah. my dad looks. You know that old movie with the guy with the the moon man with the telescope in his eye? No, that was my father. What played yeah. that part? Seriously, he just just yeah, he just looks yeah, like he a pie just had face. the one part. Oh, yeah. I love that. He never wow. acted yeah. again. Well, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and his mom's totally bald. Wait a minute, I've seen, hang on, I've seen, this is, you're talking about like one of the first movies ever made. Apollo sure. yeah. 13. Apollo 13, <laughs> the where, moon where the moon shot. guys yeah. go yeah. into the eye of the moon. That's right. Hanks and, the, and my man, Sinise. No, no, no. You're fucking, talking about a different thing. Nah. Sinise wasn't in that fucking no, Apollo 13. No, he's not in that movie. Anyway, my man, Sinise. No. Like, what? He's doing the uh, simulator. Yeah. Anyway. No, you think Anyway, his Bill parents Paxton. got fucked up jeans, but I married him anyway. We his face was full of craters, your father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't acne. It was explosive. No. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing story. I never knew that. About but we've been yet. together yeah. sixteen years. You guys have been together sixteen. We when we met, it was like a fucking romantic comedy. I mean, so hilarious. Yeah, that's you right. Well, we were all there. We yeah. all met. You remember? Yeah. We all. We should tell people we all met 
watching a guy uh, about to jump off of, yeah. out of a window of a building. This guy was standing out on the ledge of a building. Just uh, standing there. And he was going to go. And, you know, but, you know, we, we were down there. A few other people were down there. But they got tired after a while. A lot of these no, folks we were like, yeah, hey, like he's not going to jump. Hours. We stayed there right. seven hours while Biggest they tried to talk this guy down. Biggest fucking disappointment of my life. Why? Because he went in the window? Seven hours and he doesn't jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. I mean, look, happens. God forbid somebody dies and splats all over the yeah, sidewalk. I mean, but at the same time, you put in that amount of time and it ends like he walks back in the window. It wasn't anticlimactic. Excuse me for wanting a little action. Yeah, but I. I, I to our credit, we never yelled jump or... No. We never know. yelled it. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, I think we said it to it. each other, right? Well, I yeah, think we were looking with big smiles on our faces. It was yeah. like yeah, watching yeah. the Thornbirds, but nobody screws. But I don't even really know what happened at the end. I was so drunk. There's a natural, yeah, that's true. morbid you know? curiosity we were all taking part in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's see. natural. It's not shameful. Yeah, you want the, to... The only people I was pissed off at is some people walk along and they're like, oh, no, oh, I hope he doesn't... You know. And they stand around and watch. Like, yeah, fuck hey, you. You want to see him fall, Fuck too. you. I, I stayed afterwards to watch that 21 grams uh, fly up into the uh, fly up into the atmosphere there. Uh, yeah. You know, because your soul weighs 21 grams. Oh, so right. So it, uh, it comes out your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Fly up into heaven or wherever it goes. Right, right, right. I think it goes to heaven. No, it's a good Uh, reference, Mr. Cinema. You know? I'm sorry. If you jump off a building, the the reference, uh, uh, I'm not talking about the movie, you know, the reference came from a philosopher uh, whose name I forget. Was a philosopher since 21 grams? Was a physicist philosopher. A physicist and philosopher. Oh, yeah, Yeah. that guy. Trying to act like he's fucking smart. This guy's literally one of the stupidest fucking guys I know, Donnie. Piece of shit. No, fuck you. Uh, literally one of the dumbest fucking me? guys I have. Yeah, particularly you. no. Yeah, hey, well, hey, everybody me? knows this. I'm a guy. I'm a guy. I tell you everything I know. Don't, you don't make me say. Don't make, don't make me say the thing. Don't make you say. You don't know. Well, what happens when your shoe becomes untied and I'm around? What happens? I point to it and I got to tie your fucking <laughs> shoe, don't I? You tie it. Yeah. So what? So what? So what? That that's makes because you one of the stupidest fucking people in the world. That's coordination, not intelligence. Intelligence think, comes in many different uh, forms. I don't think that's right. Because I got I've emotional to intelligence. That's why I'm such a good actor. Oh, jeez. This yeah, guy. you see my whole Again. movies. He's in one fucking episode of The Sopranos, and he's like, I'm a fucking actor now. Yeah, with lines, okay? Hey, G- I, give us those lines, will you? Yeah. What are those lines? Hey, come Christopher, on. come on over here. And then I get killed. <laughs> hey, Christopher, come yeah. on over here. Boom. Yeah. I'm dead. That is a doornail. They see the 21 grams. Hey, well, I got to say. What kind of fucking idiot are you? After the episode, you go, I think it might recur. You trying to tell me, uh, you trying to tell me I'm not a good actor? No. Trying to tell me, uh. Well, yeah, no. You're a terrible actor. Baby. Why are you shitting on the baby. memory of James Gandolfini? I'm, don't, so, I'm baby, sorry. Don't, yeah, don't do that to James. R. R. Don't do that R. R. to How many James takes were blown on that thing? Because you kept saying, and there go the 21 grams. Yeah, every, time after you, grams. every time after your well, character died. Yeah. And there go the 21 grams. Every take, and then the director. Yeah. Uh, who, uh, what, what was his name again? Uh, what was that director's name again? I, don't know, I wasn't there. Uh, Steve Buscemi. About? He was a guy who played, uh, Ruben Kincaid on the, uh... Oh, that guy. <laughs> you talking guy, about... Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 that guy. Not the guy that played Salami on a White Shadow? No, no, no. The guy who played Ruben Kincaid. It was Mr. Kincaid. Yeah, 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 he yeah. He was yeah. like, cut, what are you doing, Donnie? That guy's Salami. directing, now, Wait, that guy's guy directing, from like, Family Affair? Yeah, man, he rest in peace. He just oh, passed yeah. away. Did he pass away? He passed Ruben away. Ruben Kincaid passed away? Yeah, he rest in peace. All the shit he had to put up with from Dan. Danny. Danny, yeah, yeah. Danny's still alive. Jacked like Piscopo over in uh, wherever he lives. In uh, I admire his commitment lives. to his body. I, yeah. I admire that. What the fuck are we doing? Huh? Because I got a doctor appointment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah is yeah. this supposed to be a party for people to party? You, you guys are making a great point. What are they people just want... doing while we just talked about all that? That's a very good point. What are they doing point. during this party? They've Look, left. This is the first fucking time we did it. We all can right. make a mistake. We can't make a mistake. It's time to get started because I wanted people to know who was here. And meanwhile, we got down a fucking rabbit hole about shoe tying. And all You're the host. Shit. You're the host. Yeah. Host. I'm trying to host. be. Host. Fuck you. I'm trying right. to be the host, and you guys are being assholes. Here we go. We're going to play a game. You guys ready to play a party game? Okay. I love Fire party plug. Games. You come ready with some stuff that we're yeah. going to play? We're going to play Guess the Sound. Now listen. And you could do this at home. Where, uh, you can play along with us on Guess the Sound. We're going to play sound effects, and the whole thing is you have to. We're going to play it, and then you got to guess what it is. And we're going to do it here. You guys don't know what these sounds are, right? No. No idea. Can what we? I did was I got. What? Um, I got a cassette player. Good. And I put together some great little sounds. I went out and I recorded some things. He's and I great put at finding stuff just on the street. Is that just right? And about the town, you know. Okay. These are found sources, but these are things well, easily. Did Dolby it? Yes. You this, Dolby this it? This is in fire. Right. I don't want to hear no hiss. <laughs> no, there's noise reduction. Listen, these are some sounds that you would recognize day to day. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You're yeah. going to hear these, and it's basically being a matter of who can buzz in first. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we got to say buzz? Say, just say your name. 
Okay. Because if it's you buzzing and someone wait, else... Wait, wait, wait. What? Danny sounds like Danny. What's your middle name? Christopher. What's your middle name? My middle name is Anthony. That'll do. All right, good. All right. All right. Danny Anthony. He's going to get confusing. Everybody oh, okay. use your middle names. Just, right. what's right. your middle name? Anthony. Susan. Okay, my middle name How is Christopher Anthony. How could you not know that? You're married to me. Your middle what name is fuck? Christopher Anthony? That's right. Oh, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be all right. Well, let's okay. go anyway. I'm hosting you know it, so don't worry. I'm not even going to buzz in. All right, all right, all right. Because you know cool. the sounds anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Jeez. So That'd you guys, cheating. all right, get ready because this one. Can I ask you, is yeah. there a hyphen between those two names? What's the story? Yeah, there's a slash. All right, I got it. Never mind. I'm glad I asked, but let's go. All right. You guys ready for the first sound? Ready. Yeah. Get ready on ready. your buzzer. Your middle name buzzers. I'm going to close my eyes. Welcome to What's This Sound, You Screw. Here you go. Oh, Marietta. Mary Buzz. Let the whole thing. Honey, let the whole thing oh, play I'm sorry. out. Because it's not sorry. just one sound. Is that what you're doing? There's a sequence that you're immediately going to recognize as an experience you've probably had in your life multiple times. So it's okay. a sequence. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm yes. sorry. Right, right. I thought it was Let's a buzzing Let's take it from the situation. top. It's okay. Again, I, love, I love your persistence. That's part of the reason I married you. Okay, it's Oh, done. my God, Marianna, 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 Marianna. All right, I heard Marianna first. Okay, you know, like, when you have, you have, like, a lot of skinny mugs, you're going to drink a lot, and then you have the one extra just so that you can throw up and get rid of all the calories you sure. ate that day? Yeah. That's the sound. That, so that's what it sounds like when your head is totally in the bowl, and then it, you throw up. There was that little throw-up sound. And then you got to walk away, right? Baby, I love you. I think you. I nailed it. I loved you, but that's not it. That's, that's not it. it. No. no. Christopher, Christopher, shit, that's you're not You're getting it. too complicated. It's Christopher, simpler Christopher. than that. Christopher. Oh. A homeless man wakes up in an empty hallway. He hears the breeze blowing through his head. He's sleeping on newspaper, which he uncrinkles around himself. And that was a crinkling sound. Oh, no. He gets up and goes about his day. No, no, no. no. But that oh, was fucking okay. beautiful. That's like a I, that's I like think a I know what it is. Film. Anthony, it's, it's an airplane... And then it's a duck coming out of a pond. Jesus oh, Christ. That sounds like it could be it. Holy shit. Listen. Who are you, Sully? No, that was a ghost coming through a window, moving a chair, and then the guy that hears it and sees it takes a shit because he's so afraid. Uh, I was but there was a, a toilet bowl involved. That's what it is. There's unmistakable. This, what did you say that this was? Something you would hear every day? Yeah. I don't know about you, but the toilet paper I use doesn't crinkle like that. That's not toilet paper. That was that was the droppings. Oh, Where the brother. fuck were well, you? Did he take a shit in his pants? All right, let's just do the next one. What do you mean? That's that's not a common sound, Fireplug. Okay. Uh, He's not a let's common do man. Four. All right, Ooh, number sound four. four. Okay. So these are supposed to be like everyday sounds yeah, yeah, that you yeah. know from your oh, life. At least okay. once a week. All right, this all right, one all right. for sure you get. All, all right. right, let the whole thing play out because it's pretty good. All right. <laughs> Christopher, the Monster Mash. Hold the on. beginning of the Why Monster Mash. Play out. All right, Chris, you are Christopher, the Christopher, it's a Monster it's Mash. No, it's not it's the, hard. It's the hard. Monster Mash. Jesus stuck. Christ, you don't do that I every week. I was working in a lab. No, you only do that at Halloween. Yeah. No. What? You only right. do that. You don't do that all I got it. Marianna, Marianna, Marianna. What Mariana. is it? What is it, baby? It's like when you go to a gala and they, they give you your ticket for the coat check and then you rip it and then they and then they throw it away and they lose it and then you got to throw a glass at their face. No, honey. Right? It's no. Like that thing. It's, it's like that thing. No, it's something. Uh, yeah. I think Andy. it's an airplane. <laughs> And then it's a guy throwing his recyclables in a duck pond. No. Again? No. Is same that thing? Not? Yeah. How is that the same thing? Do you same just, thing. That's yeah. not the same thing no. as what I said before. sound like an airplane? Let me tell you what it was. Ugh. What? All right, there's a couple in your neighborhood, right? And they're packing up because they're moving to a better neighborhood. So you open up their heat and vent and then put a little hose and gas them and they die. That's what that oh, was? Oh, I can yeah. hear that now. Yeah. Why? Because you're offended that they're moving? Well, what, where they got to be that they can't live here anymore. Where they gotta be? Oh, they got someone got a race, so they gotta move out the neighborhood. It's Fuck you! Die from gas! Hey, because hey, hey. This what? Is a party? Yeah, game, what do you think? Right? You're fucking oh, it's, than not me? A, it's not a death. It's Happy a birthday game. and what? I don't understand this scenario. Is it because you're gonna miss them or because you're insulted what? that they're moving up Both, in their lives? Like you broke my heart and yeah. who do you think you are? Is this something that happened to you? Yeah, every yeah. week. Yeah. All yeah. Right. People really want to dance. We got a lot of fucking crap ass neighbors. You know. Their own yeah. Let's party. do number right. two. All right, number two. This one, jeez, real simple. These are hard to guess. No, this one's real simple. All right, this one's All gonna right. be number two. Here we go. 
I know that one. That's a uh, dial up. I know that one. Uh oh. All right, this one's easy. All right, All right I got All it. Right. Christopher. Christopher. Got Christopher. Christopher. The history in backwards order of the computer from the fax machine to the Nazi You're IBM overthinking it. tabulator no. all the way down You're to the typewriter. It. You're this overthinking it. Backwards history. Anthony, oh. Anthony, right. Anthony, no. Anthony, 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 Anthony. All right, Anthony. It's a fax machine on an airplane. <laughs> no. No, you're Mariana, you're Mariana. Partially partially right. Right. You're partially right. Both of you partially right. Flying Mariana, over baby, ducks. take it home. No, take no. it home. Here we go. It's like, it's it's your Roomba. It's a Roomba. No, You guys, honey. it's a fucking Roomba. Do you have one of those Roombas? Yeah, we got a Roomba. Those are Cleans fucking the whole bullshit. Fucking apartment. The, no. the, the illusion that somebody else can do your fucking vacuum Don't for you Don't tell me that the goddamn bullshit. robot it's not, that It can't possibly house. hit every part of the room. Shut up. We got two more after this. You got to do it yourself. Okay, that was a lady... Divorcing her husband by fax. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I how was any, baby, I'm sorry. I really how was anybody happens. supposed to know that part about the divorce and that it was a lady? How's anybody supposed? I think I got it by saying it was a fax machine, right? I used to know a girl named yeah. Yorumba up in Spanish Harlem. Ooh, her ass was four yards wide, but it was squeaky clean. Yeah, but does she clean houses? Oh, sure she does. Yeah. She uh, cleans house. Squeaky clean. Okay. Yeah. Clean uh, as a whistle. Do number five. Okay, number five. I'm saying I got that one, yes? Yeah, I'll give you that one. Fine. So far, you're in the lead. You got one zilch goose egg. Let's do it. Number Brother. five. Here we go. That's nice. Christopher! Hold on. Christopher. Oh, Christopher. Mariana, Mariana. That That's Zoe That's Deschanel waking up in the morning, driving into a pool. It's just Zoe Deschanel. That's I, a. I'm going to give you a point. Morning for sounds. Creative. For being don't creative. give him points for don't, half don't a be point. charitable half for it. Don't give him a half a point for creative. You're still in the lead, hey, you shit. This was we're in obviously starting off in a duck pond and a plane crashes into it. Oh, is that not no, what it is? Now I'm taking your point away. Fuck you. No. You can't repeat. They're never gonna be the same, Mariana. No, it's oh. like when you go to the gynecologist and they put and they got to do a procedure and they put you on some earphones. Is that you, it? Yeah, I feel like no. that's it because Cause the rest of us don't know what music. that sounds like. Nope. That is that it? No, I think I got that one. Nope. Yeah, we Babe, don't go, you don't have a no. fucking like. You don't have the same parts I got inside. You don't know. Nope. That was Eddie Cantor in a canoe playing ukulele, and he his wife knows he's been cheating on him, right? So she takes the paddle and clips him over the head, and he falls in and drowns. That's how he died. You won't hear it, but that's how he died. Is oh, that how Eddie Cantor yeah. really went out? Really? And that got, happens every week. He got Natalie Wooded. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 All right, last one. Yeah. Here yeah, we yeah. go. Here we go. Oh, fuck, I know this. Christopher. Uh, no, Mariana, Mariana. Listen, there's more. <laughs> oh, brother. This one makes me so mad. Oh, disgusting. Okay, you can buzz in. Okay, Mariana, Mariana, Mariana. Uh, Mariana. Mariana. All right, Mariana. It's fucking trolls, man. <laughs> what else? Right? Like you go out in the woods and there's fucking trolls and their babies' faces and their little bodies and they're creeping and they're having sex and they're doing. It's fucking trolls. You're closer than you might think. So do I get a point or you something? You get three quarters of a point. Oh, Christopher. Finally. Christopher. All right. A hungry vampire, aged only 14, tears streaming down his face, finds a baby in a crib, takes it by its feet into the woods as it giggles. He ties it to a tree branch, bleeds it out. Gets under it, absorbs all that blood, turns even more powerful. And then the crows start to circle. Right? You get three quarters of a point. For what? Because that was fucking clearly an accurate poetry. Did you hear that? That's like an Edward What's Allen the point Poe of having song? a fourteen-year-old vampire? The whole thing about vampires is they live forever. Nobody Just would ever put a right fourteen-year-old in? vampire in Plus something. That's a party game of the SAT. Plus, what? What? You never you. hung out in a marsh? That's not a fucking crow. It's like a loon. And why would a vampire need to tie up a baby to a fucking tree What'd to you eat say? it? Vampires have human loon. needs. You get full point. Like like, why do you got to tie him to a tree? Because you want to hold them the whole time. Your arm gets tied. You tie him to a tree. You bleed him out. Hey, while you two are having an argument. I'm She's already guessing. What was it? What'd you get? Moon. But I'll give you the whole thing. You want to take a guess? Look, I keep saying the same thing, yeah, and so I'm hesitant say... to do it. But if this was the time that it was right, and I didn't say it, I feel like an asshole. It's walking around a duck pond. Oh. And then 
A plane, a plane flies what the fuck over. Do you do all the day? The truth is, Walk you're an asshole either way. You gotta give it to what? Mariana. She's right about the loon, at least. Here's what it is. And Jesus. trolls. This so. is a little Albanian kid, right? Okay, there's a guy just How walking through. Fucking know that. Walking through the woods. Listen. listen to the the lilt in his fucking voice. He's walking through the woods at night, and there's a little demon Albanian kid circling around him. That's why you hear it on Wait both sides of the stereo spectrum. All right, so Dolby. I was close. I was close. Right. Huh? The kid. Who's walking According, around? The kid. The babe. Well, they both are. They're both Albanian? But the Albanian is Hang on. It's circling him. Who's? Hey, is it an Albanian kid that's that walking bro, around no, and then the, a demon Albanian kid? No, no. And you said you recorded these sounds out in nature? Like, you really went out and captured these sounds. I went to Albania. Where do you think I was last week? I was wondering where you... Did you go to Albania to record Fuck that yeah. for this? All right, All right, I'm not going to pussy. You know, John this. Belushi was Albanian. Yeah, I Unfortunately, know. that makes Jim Belushi Albanian, too. Not Stoop. necessarily. I have a theory about that. But what were you saying? Okay, you, the, the sound is every man. It's you. You're walking through the Albanian woods. Okay, okay. Okay, put yourself in the shoes sure, of this Sure, sure, sure. You're right, not Albanian, right. but you're visiting. You, you're whatever you are, Irish. You're like a fucking you're tourist. You're a whatever you are. Right, sure. Right. But you're in the Albanian woods, and there's an Albanian kid circling you closer and closer, and then he's a demon kid turns into a loon. Fire plug. I feel fucking let down by these fucking sounds. Fuck I'm gonna you. tell you right now because what we talked about was sounds that anybody could recognize. Those and that was were exact. That, no, nobody could fucking know that that was a demon on yeah. Albanian kids going to turn into a bird. That does not happen. Okay. How about a so, horn or a balloon popping? No, you don't know. Yeah, right. No. Or a fucking toilet. I specifically said hey, toilet, like toilet flush. flushing. There was yeah, a guy exactly. taking a shit. That was the example I gave you. A fucking not off flushing toilet. You want, me, no, you want you you're gonna g just give me line readings and you want me to do it exactly like you want to do it. You don't want me to put in my artistry. I said. You honest. like five different sounds like a toilet flushing. There's yeah. a guy taking his shit on the floor because a ghost moved a God, chair. Well, what do you want from that him? That goes above and beyond. Thanks, baby. It's a party podcast, yeah. you not a movie. Can you, by look, okay, someone. listen, viewers, I'm gonna give write you, in and tell me how much you knew that that's what that was. They don't know where They'll to write it. They'll get in. all five like of them. But they don't know how to fucking do it. Your face looks like well, a what? shithead. Excuse me? What? You fucking... I'm gonna... The first time I've agreed with you all night, Thank Fire you. Plug. Thank Good you. Good job. He does, well, look, look repeat after me. Repeat after me. I fucked up. I'm sorry. All right. I did a lot of work for you. Nah. I, I, I heightened the level of this podcast, brought in a little bit of artistry. I'm going to go back uh, in editing and can't make we you just put give, those words in your nice mouth. Fucking, can't we just nice give them your, your nephew's address and then people can write in? I don't want to. I'm. I'm. No, I don't want to tell people where we are right now. Okay. Honey, you're not supposed to say. We're oh, not. Uh, we're, at a, we're at a. We're at a. This is my uh, party location. Swanky. Just uh, this is my house. Nice fucking party. We're at nice my house. Nice fucking party. You do a lot of work for your friends, and they take a shit on you. <laughs> Jesus. Well, well, how about, how long have we been talking about this? I'm, how far into this are we? Nice fucking party. Nice fucking party. Can we take a commercial yeah. break? We're going to take a commercial break because we're going to find sponsors for this show. Fuck you understand off. me? Okay. Yeah. And well, I want to talk to you about that yeah, well, car the, dealership. Hit the pavement. My I'm friend go Albanian throw up is, all the chips. Because if he wants to be a sponsor of the program, that'd be fine. Listen, he's anti Semitic, but he's a good guy. Good. When we come back. If I come back. You'll be here. Where do you got to go? I a well, doctor's I appointment, a doctor's appointment. When we come back, we're gonna talk, we're gonna do a recipe. We got this is exciting because I actually got an actual fucking celebrity instead of you, you humps. Oh, Somebody's brother. gonna come in here and be an actual fucking celebrity that people me. give a shit Start about. My own me. Who's gonna take? Yeah. Oh. Well, you're you're excused. Come back. We're sorry to put a break in this podcast, but we're not sorry to say it's for a good reason. And that is to alert you that whatever you're wearing right now, Mack Weldon is better. You know what Mack Weldon is by now, don't you? It's a men's essentials brand. They don't believe in stupid design <laughs> or bad fabrics or complicated shopping. In fact, quite the opposite. They believe in smart design, <laughs> premium fabrics, and simple shopping. Yeah. Hey, guess what? They have a line of silver underwear and shirts. Now that right there is enough. But those silver things are also naturally antimicrobial, which means that they eliminate odor. That's right. In the medieval times, you'd wear silver armor. These days, you wear a different kind of silver armor, a smell armor. <laughs> and they want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it and they will refund you. Yeah, and they, don't, they won't have any questions for you about that. Why didn't you like our underwears? They're not going to ask you that. They're just going to give you back your money. For this episode of Mac Weldon, I would like to talk about something that I enjoyed from them, and that is hearing you talk about the toiletry bag that you love so much. Yeah, I went on to the Mac Weldons, and I was like, sure, I'll get myself some underwears, maybe some socks. And then I find that they've got accessories, and I click on that, of course, and there's a toiletry bag that is the perfect, exact, perfect size for a toiletry set of things you got to travel with. Not only that, 
You know, did I tell you this last time? It comes with little plastic uh, bottles in there, three ounce uh, bottles. Yeah, I think you may have told me that a few times. Yeah. <laughs> The I'm travel really bottles. impressed. It comes with the travel bottles. Yeah. So, uh, look, that bag is great. The underwears are good. Silver is a fun color. <laughs> and you can go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using the promo code Andy. Do that, won't you? That was a, a long fucking break. Where did you go, Donnie? God. Oh, I want to talk about it. Jeez. Are you all right? Yeah. All right, good. I need you back in a in a happy party mood. All right, I swallowed one of my son's toys. Excuse I me. Pass it. I passed. I just passed one of my son's. I you just you... passed it? Yeah, one of these Goldie blocks. I don't know what that is. Uh, these... I fucking know what those are, but these... I heard you crying in there. Yeah, it's a garbage company that mess with the Beastie Boys. I don't like them, but uh, my son loves them. Yeah. I put one of these Goldie blocks in my mouth to make him laugh. Swallow the goddamn thing. I just passed it. Feel I feel those good now, but I'm this so happens to you a lot, though. You're always swallowing things you're not supposed to swallow. Uh, my kids think it's funny. Yeah, it's not very funny. Oh, kind of dad walking around clutching his stomach all the time and then spend a, a, a half hour in the bathroom trying to pass the thing. Anyway, look, that, this is, this is, we should be talking about shit, stuff like that because we got a celebrity here. Let's be introduced. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very exciting. An actual celebrity chef, you've probably seen her on a, whatever it is, some cooking channels or whatever it is. What channel would you show on? A cooking channel? I, I'm on the cooking channel. Oh my God. This is exciting, <laughs> folks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podcast Renee Dupree. Renee, hello. Thank you. Oh, oh it's so God. good to be here. It's wonderful. It's this exciting. This is a really nice basement. They, I, I'm not talking about that it's in a basement. So okay. Just, we're, in a, like, we're, in a, uh, we're in a house. I really appreciate you having me here, Danny. I, well, uh, I my name is pronounced Dupree. Give it to me again, Renee Dupree. Renee Dupree. It rhymes. It rhymes. It does. That's pretty good. I'm writing it down like how it sounds, not like yeah, how it is. Yeah, I don't mind. So uh, now you, uh, you've been a chef for a long time, a TV chef for a long time. I did. I cooked for my family and uh -huh. friends. I learned everything I, I know about cooking from my mammy. Uh -huh. Oh, good. And, Meaning uh, your, ma your mother. My mammy, Ida. No, my mammy. What's what's a mammy? Well, I'm from the south. Okay, all right. All right. Uh -oh. Like a babysitter? Or something? Now, yeah, it's a, it's sort of like a babysitter who lives in and um, does most of it for free because uh -huh. she's just so sweet. She's so sweet and she enjoys the company of children. Oh, okay, wow. good. So yeah. you had a mammy. She taught you how to cook. Yes, she did. And you learned all. all oh, and, and your I recipes did. are just delicious. I am a Georgia girl. Uh -huh. Stone Mountain all the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what kind of food is popular in Georgia? Well, ice cream, right? Uh, Stone Mountain. Right. <laughs> I love that ice cream. Yeah. Oh, you think of the Cold Stone Creamery? I think Cold Stone, Stone Creamery. That shit's good. We do like ice cream. How do you yes, fuck up do. Cold Stone Creamery for? Just try to ignore it. It's him, okay. It's, it's okay. very stupid. We like pies. Oh. We like uh -huh. ba baked goods. Yeah. We like muffins. We yeah. like biscuits. Yeah, yeah. We like um, mm, chitlins and sausages and. Uh, nice sausage. I mean, who's getting stews. hungry? I'm getting hungry. Oh, hungry we like yeah. soups. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a friend from New Orleans who likes gumbos. Oh, sure. Those, yeah, yeah fucking gumbo. Hey, let me ask but, you a question, Renee. What do you think of all these geeks who think they're allergic to gluten or whatnot? Well. Yeah, I. Food allergies are bullshit. Hey, well, hey. we do have okay. to be, I have uh, learned recently that we have to be sensitive to differences thank in you. others. Uh, thank you. We, we got to talk about this. Yeah. Well, thank first you. of all, first of all, let me say first of all what I meant to say at the beginning of this. This segment here is just for the ladies. We're going to go into the kitchen now and we're going to cook. So bring the boombox that you're listening to this on, ladies, fuck into you, the I kitchen. Don't cook. What? I don't like to cook. But you should... Shouldn't you cook? Who cooks? Right. You cook. Oh. House. Fire plug, you yeah. cook. Oh. You don't mean that. Who wears the, the pants in yeah, this kitchen? Yeah, you got to work that out. You How long have you guys been that. married? 60 fucking years. Fucking fire plug. What are you doing cooking? You got more important things to do. You should he be out cooks. fixing shit up. And what are you talking about? I got this withered arm. Yeah. I can't do all I got. I got Look, one skill in here. Anybody can right. cook. Yeah. Uh, Even a cripple can cook. Okay. For a normal relationship, if you're out there in a normal relationship, send, uh. send the women into the kitchen to listen to this. And meanwhile, let's give some topics of conversation for the men to have at the party while the women are in the kitchen listening to Let's talk about cooking. Yeah, Give the guy a break. He's got a withered arm. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Maybe it's everybody. It's bad enough. I gotta get lambasted over my sound effects, and now you're gonna take me to town over my withered arm. During that break, I just went and took a soul can watch walk around a park. Whoa! What language was that? <laughs> What's going on? Listen, when he gets emotional, he gets a little bit um, uh, you know, fluffled. You had to take a walk around a park. Withered arm spreading yeah. your brain over. Yeah, guys, part of it was I saw a duck pond, and you weren't wrong. Good. I'm glad to There's hear that. A it. lot of sounds coming out of that. Yeah. Hey, on, huh? we gotta focus. 
Ladies, bring the boombox into the kitchen. Men, stay in the living room and talk about uh, times times that you've seen people break a bone and the bone came through the skin. Right. You guys talk about that and while we're in the kitchen. So now... Here we are in the kitchen, yeah. and you're going to lead us through a recipe of something you could serve at a cocktail party, right? Well, just Danny, heads up, first... I don't like white, like goopy stuff in my food. All right. Okay, well, all right. this is going to be really black. Okay. <laughs> this good. dish is black. Okay. Um, Danny, first, I just yes. want to make it clear yes. how grateful I am to you right. uh, for standing up for me in this um, PC culture world mm-hmm. where I just used a very innocent term. We got to talk was, about it. It's good for you to get this out right up front. Now, I, you're, you got in some hot water lately. I was making a, a, my one of my famous recipes, mm-hmm. a nut salad, Yep. and um, I mentioned a euphemism for Brazil nut, okay. which is perfectly innocent euphemism for yep. Brazil nut. Mm-hmm. And... Apparently, some people had some problems with that. You know, actually, my mammy wouldn't have had a problem with that because my mammy taught me the word. Okay. She taught me the term. But um, you I, say, you called these the N-word nuts or whatever. What did you call them? The, the N-word, N-word toes. Okay. These nuts what? are commonly called in Georgia N- N-word, N-word toes. N-word toes. And because yeah. that's what they look like. Wait, nut well, toes? If, no. If, if someone who's been wearing bad shoes... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might end up with an N-word toe. So you said that, and I think what they said was that in the course of the episode where you made this nut salad, you said that N-word that we're not supposed to I say did. It was 118 live. times. I Hold did. on a second. I was, hundred, I was uh, just eavesdropping. What's the N stand for? It's nuts, it. I think. Well, no, you dumb. Nuts I, word? I, I've heard that the proper acceptable term is Negroid. They like to be called Negroid. It keeps changing. Last Negroid. time I checked, it was uh, Afro American. Now it's Negroid. I don't know, but you know what? The, um, the the Chinese guy down the street. Yeah. He's got a lot of problems with the way I talk to him. Is that right? Yeah, but I, you know, I'm like he's lucky. He's order, lucky you, you know? talk to him at all. Yeah, exactly. That's that's it's the true. attitude. You are trying to reach out. I'm you trying know? to reach out. I'm trying to yeah. place an order. Trying to get some fucking food. You know. Yeah. That's what so, you get for trying yeah. to reach out and find some common ground. Give me your ground. Wing Wong food, you know? That's what I feel about food. It can it can bring people together. Yeah. Like, bring me my food but together, little did I'll I know. pay you and go to eat it. Now, this nut salad, it just brought, it made people nuts. People got very angry. Now, did you lose the job or are you I still... I lost co- all my shows. You lost all... How I many shows did you have? 17 shows. 17 shows. I lost yeah. all of them. I had a, a line of muffin mixes. Which were taken off the shelves. Ugh. Oh, no. Nobody could eat my muffins anymore. It was just, it was sad. It was You know, sad. it's very sad because there's people out there that love these muffins that have nothing to do with any of this shit and they're getting embroiled in this bullshit. Exactly. And now they can't have your fucking muffins. I know. All because somebody got offended by 118 uses of a word that's supposedly offensive to somebody. I agree. Unbelievable. And and I am going to try. I'm going, I'm setting up a website. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to just do my. I'm Look at that. You're doing it yourself. Fine. People who support me can go on there and find my muffin mixes. With that in mind, I'm going to give y'all a really wonderful And you recipe. apologized, by the way. You, I did. you fucking apologized. I said, I am sorry that I said nigger toes 117 times. There it is. Times. That's the word. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what the end stood for. That's yeah. what it stands yeah. for. Right. Can you believe yeah. it? You were, I mean, we can funny. say this, right? You were a little, you, you were a little. I mean, it, it yeah. rolls off the tongue. Is that what your website's going to be? Dot hmm? com? Nigger toes. Oh. I th- I would do yes, that. I would embrace you know, it. Embrace the controversy. Because you're better known for saying that now than for almost anything else. You know, embrace I it. certainly want to show my supporters that I support them. And we can say, right, We can, it's fair game because you've acknowledged this. You were a little bit drunk when you apologized, correct? Well. You had had a few drinks. It was schnapps. Okay. It was just. And you had a theory. It was blueberry schnapps. No, right. Because if heaven had a drinking fountain. Yeah. <laughs> it would be blueberry schnapps. <laughs> Coming no, that out. That, that doesn't count. And Lord doesn't help me, I do want to drink from heaven's drinking fountain. <laughs> one day, one day. So that was a long, it was kind of a long and rambling apology, and you, there, there were, there were, you, you, you ended up, it's to, to the, it's, some people felt that you ended up making the situation a little bit worse. Because well, in the apology itself, I read on some website that you then said the N word another 200 times in the apology. Yeah, I did. Some and of them just right next to each other like they, they were just four in a row, and it didn't even make contextual sense. We've I all been at, there. I 
was having trouble with my keyboard that day oh, okay. when I was typing out the apology. There's the key that kept, just kept getting stuck. Okay. Wait, oh, the, end, wait, the, wait, the engine. Wait, the engine. The engine. And then maybe on your computer, it auto fills in the rest of the word. No, she 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 assigned F5 to just type that word. Oh, okay. It's a shortcut. You could do that. You could program your own shortcuts in there. My elbow was on F5 the whole time that I was writing. Honest mistake. Uh, My sensitivity training course that I'm still in. It's a seven-year sensitivity training. course. Is that what you have been assigned to do? Yes, by days a week you got to do that by a federal court. I might add by the Department of Justice. Is That's capitalism how many, for how many, you. Uh, Unbelievable. How many hours a week you got to do that? Uh, well, it's it's online, and it takes about three minutes to fill it in. So, so you know, she just hits F five Monday through Friday. You got to do that. Yeah. Could you possibly accelerate it then and do There's like? There's actually like a little breath monitor on my computer that I have to breathe into, so they can tell it's me. Because you I know what very, you should do. I have a very distinct breath. You do. I noticed that. It smelled it across the room. That's interesting. This technology is it amazing. It smells. Yeah. Some people say it smells like cake. <laughs> Yeah, Your I breath got smells like, a like cake. I got like a nutmeg flavor. A nut- yeah, like a little spice. I yeah. smell like Spicy. molasses, but that's been in a car. Oh, I don't argue with that. That's not, that's about right. But we I should shot a bottle <laughs> rocket up my nose. I got no sense of smell from when I'm a kid. Boom! Mickey's no hard. sense of smell for the rest of my life. Therefore, no sense. Ah, you're not missing anything. You know, anything. in that's this right. PC right. culture, they won't even let you shoot off fireworks anymore. What? Yeah, that's my, that's true. my son, that's true. he's old enough to have been allowed to shoot off fireworks. He has a, a weathered arm, a little bit like yours, oh. Oh. and it's from part of a Roman candle blew off two of his fingers, and he he laughs about it. Sure. <laughs> well, Stoops over here. The a Roman candle went off in the womb for this guy. Time <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. First, first thing my mom ever said to me is, your arm looks like a little whisk broom. Oh. And it gave me a complex. Well, you know what you do? Well, you, it bru- does. you brush it. Does. The- I mean, you admit it does. But, yeah. also you yeah, but you don't, have to, you don't want to hear that from your mother. No. no, you use it to brush the crumbs off the table. Yeah. And then you find, you find your place in the world. I use it as a mustache comb. This is the only reason I have a mustache is because w- w- i got to make sense of this little twig. You use the tiny little fingers yeah. on there to brush your mustache? Yeah. Sometimes That's a good I, idea. Yeah. I made right. them like a little, it's like a toothbrush kind of. Yeah? yeah, and sometimes she it? ties little yellow ribbons yeah. around it. I love a man with a, a veteran mustache. Day. Yeah. I love a man that's so hairy you got to vacuum the bed in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that's me right here. Yeah, woo, that's right. I'm I don't want to think about. I don't pull wanna... up your shirt in the back. <laughs> Let's go. What are you going right, to cook for us, Renee? Up, lady. All right, here we go. I'm going to cook something. Don't worry. This all right. is not going to be controversial at all. Good. It is the ultimate easy party snack. Yeah. Because you cook it in a crock pot. You mm-hmm. just throw everything in there and let it bubble for 8 to 12 hours. Long time. Yeah, do it the night before your party. Yep. Now, don't worry. I have some already made. But we're going to pretend okay. that I'm making it right here. Sure, sure, sure. And that 8 to 12 hours will pass. Okay, fine. All right. This is a little recipe that, um, that I like to call tar babies. <laughs> And it's like a sweet and savory combo. Yeah, okay. The perfect party. Because you want, at a party, everybody wants a little sugar, right? That's, That's why right. they call kisses sugar. Mm-hmm. They say, give me a little sugar. Pumps my veins but out. But everybody yeah. wants salt. Yeah, pops your veins out. Everybody wants salt. <laughs> you got to have that at a party. Because Prominent it, veins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody wants salt because then it gets your, uh, your party guests drinking. Yeah, they get oh, salt. isn't that interesting? Yeah, and then you drink a lot, and then you right. just throw it all up. That's why they give so you free and pretzels and peanuts at a bar. Yeah. Whenever I see pretzels and peanuts at a bar, I take it and I throw it at the fucking bartender, and I say, "I'm not falling for that fucking yeah. scam." I know these yeah. are free because you're gonna get me to get thirsty and drink. Fuck yeah. you. I've been kicked out of a lot of bars that way, but All I don't right. spend a lot well, of money. Well, don't throw the tar babies back in my face, All right, okay? All right. No, of course not. Of course, because it's, it's you know. They're it's sticky not little things. <laughs> they are. All right. Anyway, what you want to get is you want to get one of those packages at the store. It looks like a big old mushed up bag that all the air sucked out of it. Like down, vacuum packed of yeah. little sausages that are like one and a half inches long. Yeah, I know those. Sometimes they're yeah. called Lil Smokies. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Sometimes they're just hot dog flavor. I, Lil Smokies, they're all right, but they're almost like too strong in flavor for me. I just like the plain hot dog flavor kind. There's, they got a little bit of sweet. I don't know. It's just good. The pink flesh in the middle is a pleasantly mealy. Uh-huh. I enjoy it. So you take pleasantly a pack, mealy. Yeah, yeah. Take a pack of those and you put it into your crock pot. Okay. A, what? A crock pot. And then you, you know what a crock pot is? I think it's a it, slow cooker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Baby's yeah, I think so. Yeah. None of you guys know what a slow cooker is. I know what a fucking yeah, slow like cooker is. Yeah. What like are you? Slow. slow? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, 
I just got a withered arm. Booker is. It's not. It's not mental. It's physical. My arm. It's not mental. Oh, all right. Okay. So anyway, um, that was a little awkward. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, you're a cripple. It must be hard, but you know what? That's it nice. Somebody apologized to you. Do you, you have it. feeling in that arm? No, I don't need it. Well, then you could probably use it to, you know. Take care of yourself. Yeah, well, a little stranger. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. Yeah. stranger. Yeah. Why would I do that? I got a beautiful wife right here. Insinuate that I don't take care of my husband? She's great to me. Are you, well, excuse me. I'm excuse me that, very yeah, much. No, no, I'm sure you do, but don't you want a break sometimes from all yeah. that? Why would I, I want a break? I have to sit on my hand until it falls asleep. I got a hairy cripple over here with you, a good looking mustache. Yeah, well, you might want a break <laughs> so you can just, you know, go do a grocery shopping I'm not crippled. I'm handy crippable. Okay. Hold on a second. That's the spirit. What? Okay. That withered arm looks like it could fit you know where. Where? Yeah. In the sack, you know what I mean? Oh, well, it's maybe there's a reason enough. we've been married 16 years. All right, you <laughs> guys. That's speaking, disgusting. Speaking of tar babies, hey, I feel like we're disgusting. in a sticky situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got these little tiny hot dogs and we put them in a, in a in fucking the uh, pot. pot over there. Yes, and yeah. then you layer in a jar of grape jelly. Okay. okay. And then yeah. a 32 ounce bottle of um, ketchup. Mm. Okay. It could be an off brand. Hines? You don't have to use the fancy stuff for this. That's it's the beauty of hunts, it. Hunts could be hunts. hunts Even it could be are... hunts. It could be uh, co- Costco. Squirters. Squirters. Hunts. Hunts is as low as I'm going. I like to call my ketchup blarps because that's what it sounds like when it comes. When it comes blarps. out of the bottle. <laughs> yeah. So I was pretend it's. For I me, have my, I pretend I have my own brand of ketchup. You can make that available well on inwardtoes.com. Blarps ketchup. I should. Well, anyhow, then you layer in the ketchup. Then you layer in a jar, a 32-ounce jar of mayonnaise, and then you layer in some coconut, and then you layer in some nuts. I'm not going to say what kind. You can just use whatever kind of nuts you want. Then you uh, you, uh, get some pickle chips. Pickle chips. The bread and butter kind. Oh, sure. sweet. Oh, yeah. 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 And you can just... Chop them up real messy. You okay. don't have to. Nobody cares. It's a party. Well, that's then how, right. Why not use relish? Then, right. Well, re- yeah, you relish want is a, chopped up pickles. I, messy chocolate. I think you're gonna you tell lose, you're gonna tell fucking Rene yeah. Dupre how to fucking cook. I don't have a TV show, but I know what I like. You know what? Uh. Texture is very important. And relish is a little mushy. Something called texture, Daddy. Yeah, I understand these things. Yeah, no, it's somebody having integrity about stuff that she makes, you know? I get it. Finish finally, yeah. Yeah. I, yes. I said coconut, right? You did. Yeah. Uh, finally, you just add a, you know, a, a medium-sized jar of uh, a chocolate syrup. Oh, okay. Mix it up. Like a Hershey's or something yeah, like that? Yeah, Hershey's, sure. Bosco, yeah. whatever. Okay. Um, Wait, you mix everything up? You mix it all you up. You don't keep them in a oh, strata like or a layer? Yeah, no, like a layer no. Dip. Although I've heard of that being done. Well, because that's what I'll do you're on weekends. You're using your cooking brain. Well, so that's like, what, yeah. It, what do we got if we don't have a cooking brain? It's like you, a hot dog soup. But you Ladies know, the out sauce there, you need a cooking brain. That's the only it, brain a lady needs as far as I'm concerned is a cooking brain. The sauce bubbles down and it caramelizes and it gets... Oh, it's just wonderful. It's salt, like, just like right I said, around those salty dots? sweet. It sounds really it's good. It's like a warm, wet Chex mix with a meaty Ooh, flavor. It's like, like a that. geological yeah. process with the fossil fuels turning bubbling. Yeah, yeah baby, yeah. you think you can figure out how to make that? I already got it locked down. And now what do you do with that? you eat it with a spoon or you dip it you in just something? Use your fingers. Use your fingers. I love getting well, messy with party food. You just, just you put it in a bowl in and everybody can mm-hmm. go into the bowl with their fingers and yeah, just eat this? Yeah, sure. You can put it in a bowl or you can put it, if you have like a long uh, hoagie roll, uh-huh. you can empty that, scoop that out and just pour it in there. Ooh, just pour it in there, eat sure. it like a sandwich? I like to use it, yeah. Like, or you but can like use, everybody eats it together? Like a sandwich we all like eat together? Trough? Put it in a trough. Sure, it is. You make a trough with the bread. Yeah. Maybe you could now, elevate it. Maybe, so it's like at face You know, level. maybe, I love the, the the term tar babies, but you could call it like little black piggies or something no, like you're that. You're not going to be tar if babies. If you are going to put it in this. a trough, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. that yeah. would be nice. Now, is there, I know i got to ask this people interested, is there a locale version of this? Uh, miracle Whip, maybe some Miracle Whip. Maybe you can use, you can whip. use uh, tofu like ve- veganize uh-huh, sure, there instead, you go. Yeah. or um, you can use uh, unsweetened cocoa. Oh, okay, sure. But that makes it more like that Mexican mole sauce. 
And right, I just right, have right, never, right. it's never, mole sauce doesn't appeal to me because I, I find moles a little repulsive. Yeah, I'm with alone. you on that. I'm yeah. with you yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know if it means something different in Spanish, little but here in America, I don't, you're going to bring wanna, that yeah. fucking recipe to America, you change the fucking name from something that's not here. a goddamn name yeah. of a rodent. Yeah, at least groundhogs have a job, you jerks. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't I talking that, about, I, I wasn't even talking about the rodent. What were you talking about? The skin. Oh, on the skin. That's even worse. I'm talking about, yeah, on the skin. That's even worse. Listen to me, you Mexicans. You can bring any recipes you want in here, but if it, if the name in Spanish is something that grows on your skin and can become cancerous, change the name once you bring it over yeah, here. Yeah, pass the yeah. warts, Jose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, All right, good. Are you going to eat your melanoma taco? You screw. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Stoops. <laughs> All right, good. So that sounds delicious. Oh, thank you. What wine would you pair that with? <laughs> well, I'm not much of a wine. I'm not much of a wine drinker. Yeah, me drinker. neither. I'm just asking. How about some Mad Dog 2020? No, I li- <laughs> you know what I like? I, I like, a, like a, just a snifter of, of Drambuie uh-huh. on the side. I love that. I love something that... You know, I got a sweet tooth. I got a salty tooth. I got all kinds of teeth. <laughs> sure, sure. Listen, but, hey, we all got like, a, what do you got, 58 teeth in your mouth? I think I'm in the mood tonight for a sweet drink yeah. that will enhance the sweet flavor of my tar babies. Okay, so you would go for something sweet like a yoo Oh, Well, and it that would bring out the chocolate, too. Yeah, yeah, Yogi Berra, right? All right. Right. So that's, thank you so much. Thank will you. you stick around for us? I want to play a game now that it, I will. That I think uh, you might be very good at. We're going to play a, a party game here called Make Up a New Ethnic Joke. All right. Oh, by the way, yeah. ladies, fun. you can bring the boom box in back and see the man and tell him, shut up about the broken bones. Okay, here's how this is going to work. Everybody knows a classic joke. How many Polacks it take to screw in a light bulb? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. And then whatever the answer is. All of them. Huh? All of them. All of them. All the available And Polacks. they still couldn't do they it. They still couldn't yes. do it. Because <laughs> you know, these guys are stupid. <laughs> you know? These guys are I stupid. Love, I love my favorite Polak joke yeah, yeah. is, uh, how do you make a Polak martini? How do you make a Polak martini? I don't know. Right. It's, it's a beer with a booger in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, oh, right? Yeah, they, <laughs> they probably yeah. all died in that uh, submarine that got screen with the screen doors. Screen doors. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, all oh, right. Fucking idiots. All right. So this is how this is going to work. I got a pile of ethnicities over here in this hat. And then in this hat over here, I got a pile of uh, words like uh, things you could do. And then over there. A verb? Huh? A verb? That's it. And then I got a pile over here of words of things. Okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to say how many blank from the ethnicities pile does it take to blank from the verb pile a blank from the pile of things. Okay, yeah. And then yeah. and that's gonna be and then you gotta figure out the answer. And in this process we will have made up new ethnic jokes. Oh. All right. All right, Great. because the old ones are old. The old ones oh, are not acceptable. Shit. Ah shit. What? what the fuck are you doing here? What's going on? Fuck you. What, what are you doing, doing in here? here? What are you doing What are in you here? doing in here? This is my house. You're in my basement, Danny. We talked about this, man. Bert. I'm telling no, it's Bertrand. Oh, Don't no. dumb me down. I've got an education. Uh, There's more I can say about you. Uh, what are you doing? What are you? This smells like a fucking porta do- potty down here. It's, what are you guys doing? That's well, that's, that's on you. Babies. That's on you. This it's bathroom down babies. here. There's no ventilation in this bathroom, which I told you to a long time. It need every bathroom needs ventilation. Uh, Somebody it's, uses it's, this fucking toilet and it stinks up the whole place. And Donnie was in there for a half hour trying to pass a toy. She's yeah. 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 But that's fucking cold, you know. None all right, of you, all right. None of you cold. are supposed to even be yeah. here. It doesn't matter. What's going on? This is my nephew Bert, who fucking fired me from my job, took over the plumbing business that me and your father founded, and then fucking fires me. Fired you? Didn't fire you? You, you, you fucking fell asleep fired me. in the back of a, a container, and you, we were lost you for three days. And you and then you told me don't come back. I, you, you can't handle it no more. What are you talking about? I can't fucking handle can't it. I handle fell asleep it. one time in a container for three days. You fell asleep. He was drunk or something. You was all. Yeah, bugged. I was drunk. What, 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 what we, difference does it make? The people was a complaining. I they taught were, this kid how to smoke. I literally taught this kid how to smoke cigarettes. Fucking, in, that's an ingrateful. I, I mean, taught this kid how to take a punch to the jaw. Oh my god. I and don't that, like this kid. Yeah, I don't you like know how him. he taught me. He punched me in the jaw. Yeah, that's the only way to teach somebody how to take a punch in yeah, the jaw. You punch as hard as you can in a fucking jaw. I didn't want to learn that. What you, how, how, well, how are you going to know it if you don't learn it? I got a question. Yeah. Is this supposed to be happening at these people's party right now? Uh, this, this isn't a party. This, you guys got to go. You got to get you out of here. You don't know what's going on. I'm, this you got to get this out of This is an extension of Life of the Party Incorporated, the business. I had to start because you fucking fired My me. My wife and is going to come home. I don't, she yeah, sees you guys don't talk about it. Wait, so this is all your fault. We're here because of you. 
No, no. You're here because of him. You're not supposed to be here. No. This you is right. hire him. I didn't want to talk house? about I didn't want to talk about where we are, but I am right now, as you guys know, and now the listeners are gonna know, I'm living in Bert's basement here. But you ain't supposed I'm to be living money. in here. That's I'm, that's not that we never agreed to that part. Well, that window you said you, doesn't you, close. You asked if and, you want to live here, and we said no. Right. That's why we don't invite you to the Thanksgiving parties no more. We want you out of our lives. You still having Thanksgiving here? I thought something happened and you weren't doing Thanksgiving anymore. You're still I, I, doing Thanksgiving here? I don't want to say. And I don't get invited? No, I, we're not doing Holy it here. Hey, I, I still kind of I have some good recipes Holy for you. Holy shit. Who, are, who are you? Recipes. Who are these people? My this name is Renee, Renee Dupre, Dupre. <laughs> The celebrity chef. Oh, I heard about you. Yeah, that's right. You broke a record. <laughs> That's true. Well, we we're we're, we're moving on from that now. Uh, we're think, moving on, and Danny, we're making tar babies. Danny, you, all right, Danny, I think y'all should move on. I, no, but this know. seems like a classic case of somebody not being able to like focus on reality and what's actually happening in the moment. What's happening in the moment is there's a party. You see all the shot glasses. There's a no, fucking party. This is That's breaking, right, Mariana. This is breaking and entering. This no, is he what lives this is. here. He I doesn't live, live here sometimes when a window bag. is open. Damn, well, I didn't open and a window because I don't have any money. Oh, Jesus, because I don't have a fucking job. Because you fired me for no fucking reason. The reality is the window's broken. He's got a sleeping bag here, and there's poor ventilation that's not up to code. Mariana's living in the real world. Also, yeah. maybe this is a good example of what to do with a party pooper, because every party's got a pooper. What that's do you do? That's why we did not invite you. Okay, good. Make him we do gotta, the first joke. Here do we gotta, go. Do I got to call the police? No, you don't got to call the police. You got to join in the party. Yeah. To, okay, folks Take at home shot. who are listening to this, there's bound to be somebody at your party right now who's a real asshole and a stick in the mud and probably fired his uncle, and that and this is going to teach you how to get that guy roped that guy into the This fun. isn't a party. Pick, shut up. Pick what something out of this pile. This is a party, and it's a podcast. A party. Is it going to get shot. you out of here quicker if I play this game? My wife's going to be home in 22 minutes. Nothing is going to get me out of here. Fucking pick something, or I'm going to hit you with my arm switch. <laughs> <laughs> pick one of those, and then pick something out of that pile. Ball, ballroom chandelier. Ballroom chandelier. Well, you got to pick the other. Piles. So that's the thing. You're picking them out of order. <laughs> Pick that. Pick I, one I, out I, of You're pointing at the pile. What do I pick? I don't know which pile is which. No, Go out of that one now. This fucking kid is such a douche. I can't read that word. It says read. <laughs> <laughs> That's your verb. Read. You How can't many? read the word read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you said you were educated, you screw. Like, now you gotta like pick a, a race. You gotta yeah, pick a race like or what? Pick a race yeah, of people like, and make up a fucking joke. I'm playing this game out of protest. Do God, a joke! Mexican. Jesus Christ. All right, so how many Mexicans does it take to read a ballroom chandelier? Get out of my house! Get out of my house! I can't wait to find out. Come it on, make any sense. Bring it home. How many does it, it take? Sense. What do you mean? How many Mexicans does it take to read a ballroom chandelier? And then you say, number. One to do this, and, and then why? why, and then why, and yeah. it's about Mexicans. It's a Come joke. Were well, you ever hear a joke Come before? on, Bert. Yeah, uh, it takes uh, one, because okay. uh, you don't read a <laughs> chandelier. <laughs> one to point to, it takes five. One to point to the words, and four to read them for... Uh, to get him up to the ladder, Danny, you know. Danny, can Come I take you from it? You it takes it takes it takes twenty of them. Nineteen to take a nap, a yeah. siesta, and the other one to read the chandelier. Yeah. It takes one, and he's yeah. a dermatologist, and he's like, "That's not a chandelier. It's a fucking malignant melanoma on your skin. You screw." Yeah, I don't three. think anybody would hire a Mexican to yeah, be that. No, doctor. it takes yes? three. One to one to, one to look at it, read yeah. it. One to translate it, and one to just get across the border. You know. Uh, hey. Hey. Honestly, you see that, Bert? Does it even matter what the huh? noun? Is it doesn't even matter, okay? <laughs> it's, it's French it's anyway. Not, it's no. like you might as well just take the, nas the, the the ethnicity and a verb and then and anything and then it then. All right, let's say, keep playing. Let's keep playing. Party right. 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 Everybody yeah. knows Mexicans can't read. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's how you do it. That's it. No, I can't even read Mexican. Jokes. More jokes. More jokes. Let's All right. do it. All right, let's here go. we go. Here we go. Let me gonna go next. Let me pick out pick out one of these. Who ate all my chips? We ate your chips. We're having a party. Don't buy chips if you. Don't want people to break into your basement yeah. and eat them. And next Jesus. time, buy the right chips. Yeah, Don't buy right. one brand off. Jesus, uh, who likes these Uts? I'm on a budget here. I, uh, the plumbing business is not doing so good. Got a pile of Uts chips in it. <laughs> All right, here's a joke here. Here we go. How many American Indians does it take to jerk off a feather duster? <laughs> I, I got that one. All right. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a hoe. Oh. oh All okay. right. I got. The, I got. I got one. Here we go. Um, uh, it takes one, but he's gonna have a. A hard time figuring out how. <laughs> <laughs> right? How? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You make uh, me good. You, uh, oh, wait, so wait, sad. none of these might be. Not like none. You can't get them to do it because they're always going to be drunk. There you uh, go. No. That's it takes right. None. Zilch. Zero. Oh, oh. 
<laughs> now I like now this is the part. Oh, it depends how much wampum you pay them. Right? Yeah. Something like that. It'll be as many as you want. You give them enough fire water and smallpox. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just Bert. say? Why don't you just say yeah, it doesn't take any of them because they're savages. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. That's right. right. Like yeah, okay. that's pretty good. Somebody's getting into the party. Hey, where was that trail of beers? I mean, I'm thirsty right now. <laughs> <laughs> you want a beer? Get him a beer. There's no more. No, no. There's Renee, no you more. Got I, an came, I don't know. How I know men? potlatch and kimasabe. I don't know much else other than about Native American. Oh, oh. Native Americans, that's right, right? That's what you're okay. supposed to call them. They I like don't know much now. else about them. But you know what? Feather duster, they do wear feathers on their heads. Oh, that's a good that's point. Right, that's right. So, oh, yeah. Danny, is Take this, to is jerk this, off a feather duster. That's funny. Is this your stack of porn over here? Yeah, that's my stack of porn. It, I bring it with me when I come over here. <laughs> Who else likes what over you, 50 tits? He what brings you bring it from it, the woods. Where do you bring it from? Uh, from the woods? Yeah. yeah he it's down in the woods. Yeah. Why don't you go back to the woods, Dan? Take all your friends here and, and hey, crawl out the back door. We're not his friends. Gosh. You think we like this guy? Nice hospitality. Yeah. Why don't you can you believe what, I, what my nephew just said to me? Go sleep in the woods. Go oh. crawl out the window. I'm not an emotional in. guy, but that's uh, I, 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 going to make me cry. Let's see a fucking Indian. I'm going to do another joke. Why don't you sleep in a teepee? Come on. Guys Bert. got more baggage than Samson. Bert, have Let's... a drink. All right, Fuck I got one. Game. I got one. I got one. Here we go. Okay, how many Russians? Yeah. Does it take to run an ice cream sandwich? Oh. <laughs> you know how many Russians? How many Russians does it take to run, run an, an ice, ice cream, cream sandwich? sandwich? Ah. Ah. Talk to Ivan Drago. Uh, <laughs> say if he runs, he runs. Uh, from uh, Rocky IV movie, right. I like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my answer. I don't know. How about, uh, uh, how about, uh, uh, how about, uh, how about, uh, do it, Danny. <laughs> how about it depends on how many potatoes you throw at them. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Ah. Five, five of them, uh, uh, the, uh, one to run the ice cream sandwich, the other four to be drunk on vodka all day. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. That's, that's a stereotype. Yeah. That's a stereotype, That's Danny. how it works, Bert. The answer is they are always in a sauna. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, they yeah. can't eat ice cream. There you go, she got it. You're just failed. You can't eat ice cream in a sauna, it's going to melt. You like my new right. favorite celebrity. That's great, Renee. Yeah. You got it. I don't got one because for me, Russians are off limits. That's just dirty. Oh, whoa. Yeah, he's got a real thing it. about Russians. That's the thing. You don't make jokes about the no. Russians? No, they're too close to Albanians. Yeah. And uh, yeah. anyway, go you on. you got a real fear of that part of the world. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Go all right, on. All right, all right. Who, who broke the toilet? Who broke the toilet? I just went in there. Uh, I did. I was trying to flush it, but it's not conducive to my arm. And so I did it with my foot. And yeah, I but kicked that's the blocks. Hey, did you, find, the the blocks gold, did you find the Goldie blocks down yeah, there? Yeah, I did. Yeah, because it clogged right after I took that Goldie yeah, block. I told you block. you need a I special put it up handle on, the counter. on that toilet to help out fire plug. Whatever you tell me, I'm not doing, Danny. You're that's not, the problem. You're not my, that's one of the problems my we dad. have. That's one of the problems we have. I tell you to do something and you don't do it. That's one of the problems we have. You know, my you know dad? what's a fucking problem with respecting authority, authority yeah, 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 in your yeah, yeah. own family? Uncle, respect He's your, your uncle. Did my uncle, you know what this uncle did to me on what? my birthday? Uh, you know what he did? What? He drove a car through my party. What's yeah. the prize? You he just killed my best friend. He got off. He got, he off, on a, he got off on a technicality. He, he didn't, didn't shoot die. Fired that. him, so he didn't drink all that alcohol and then drive. He no, died. They, they said he died from injuries related to the car accident. He didn't die from the car. You know, my dad said. My dad said. What he, what he was on his deathbed? Yeah. He said, don't talk to Danny no more. That's bullshit. He said, don't talk to Danny That's no bullshit. more. bullshit. I don't you, believe that. You're, you're talking about my brother. Bro. You're talking about my brother. He died because of you. What are you talking about? That's what he said. He said I sent him into, I, what do you, how do you, how do you figure he died That's because of me? Dark. You said he killed him. He said, you said he was killing, you said, he said you was killing him. Why? Because I told him he had to handle all the asbestos? And I told him we're not going to pay the money to get fucking certified in all those suits and bullshit like that? You guys, this is going super dark. You want to listen to Bob Seger? <laughs> oh, yeah, put on night moves. Danny. And I told... I, look, turn let's the just page. get this straight. What I said to your father, my brother, oh my is I said, if you're going to handle all the asbestos, you're going to work up a tolerance to it, right? <laughs> and so I... And then what did you do? Did you punch him in the chin? A couple of times. I put him in the back of a van loaded with asbestos... And I kept him in there some six, eight hours a day, building up time. First, we started out an hour in the asbestos van, two, three, four, five hours. Got him up to 12 hours in the asbestos van there, that's to good. build up a tolerance yeah. to this that's stuff. That's how you do if it. If he's going to handle yeah. it on the job. Yeah. And he's like, well, we gotta, if you're going to handle this asbestos, you've got to be uh, certified. All this but she's, fuck you. People Listen, have to be taught money. responsibility. They said yeah. he died because his yeah. heart was insulated. Well, it could be. It could be. No how more. do you die from it? How is that bad? It can breathe. If insulation is good for a house, why is it bad for a heart? It Nothing kept the that he's saying makes the sense. If the heat inside, you got to let the heat out of your body. He, I don't know what. Look, I don't have any idea what killed your father. I don't have a I clue just told what you. did it. I just told you. 
I got a problem. What? Two problems with you. One, you're a buzzkill. Two, you're not a woman. All right? You're making this more of a sausage party than it already is. This is my house. I came home. How many Eskimos does it take to murder a TV dinner? Ah, How hungry are they? There we go. Murder a TV dinner. How many Eskimos does it take to murder a TV dinner? I don't know. How much whale can you get on a train? Do you know how many words Eskimos got for TV dinner? (laughs) As many as snow or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about, uh, how about, uh, it it depends on how long, uh, your your microwave takes to nanook it. Cook it. <laughs> to then then it. Cook it. Cook it. I say it's uh it takes uh it takes ten. Five to kill the whale and five to drag him in front of the TV. Ask me the question again. I, I say it, I, I say uh, uh, enough to get the good housekeeping seal of <laughs> approval. There you go. Ah. Ask me again. How many Eskimos does it take to murder a TV dinner? I don't know. Let's dive into it. <laughs> Ah. See, job, babe. This job. is the party we're having Shit, here. Why would you want to? Why would you want to stop this? Yeah. Why, because because you, you made my, my place smell like a like a like a subway. Uh, uh, well, did th- you a favor? It, it stinks in here. I'm gonna tell you what. I control the edit of this. We're not gonna talk about anything that uh, that's not fun. Yeah. Okay. All that stuff about you. Take father. a shot and I'm calling the police. Out, that's all what right. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go upstairs. Why don't, don't you call the, time? Let's right. call a fun police. I got that's one what more. you are. One more. Go ahead. We're How good. many Arabs does it take to betray a cement mixer? <laughs> all right. Uh, Arabs? Uh, yeah. Just one. Yeah, all he's right. just going to yeah. do it anyway. He's do it all by himself. <laughs> yeah, he's probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he already all they has. Do. Yeah. There's not even a he joke there. It writes well, no. itself. Yeah. Jesus, you know, those guys. That isn't a joke because I'd never hire an Arab to do my cement work. They yeah. just don't... They're not tr- good tradesmen. No, no, they're right. not fucking no, trustworthy, not. you know? No. That's right. They all was, right. Well, look, we had a lot of fun. We invented some new ethnic jokes. We're running a little long here, and we got a big thing coming up. So, right? You, you, you're going to hang around, Bert, and have fun? Try to have a little fun. Is it going to get you out of here? No. All right, come back. Okay, welcome back for the commercial break. We got a lot of fucking people in this basement now. Is it too loud in your headphones over there, Jimmy Blades? <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, let's do the roll call over here. We got Donnie Mahoney, and next to him is uh, Bert Mahoney. Donnie Mahoney. Bertrand. Hello. Bertrand. Donnie Mahoney, I am not related to. Not related, Bertrand thank God. Bertrand Mahoney, I You're am not related, related to. to. I am related You're not to not related to. Don't fucking deny me three times. I am related to you, Bertrand. <laughs> Did you, you just nephew. call yourself Jesus Christ? I'm very much like Jesus in this story. And then we got over here, Renee Dupre, the celebrity chef. Hello. Who said the N-word now 318 times publicly I, and a couple times what? today. I might as well go for a record. <laughs> it seems like you're headed that way. I gotta have that Guinness category all wrapped up. I don't know. Yeah, who who is in the Guinness Book of World Records for saying the N-word the most number of times? I'm I wonder. Look it up. But uh, Frank Sinatra is it Sinatra? It's Frank Sinatra. That doesn't yeah. surprise me. It's Julie Haggerty from the movie Airplane. <laughs> Swear to is God, is that right? That's is that true. who it is? Yeah, I yeah, thought it was we Sinatra. Met her once. She's a total racist. We should say, by the way, Renee Dupre. The way we met was that I went on your Facebook page and I defended you and I said, you know, you're being railroaded by the liberal police over there. And you said, hey, you know, we got a thing going. And I says, come on my podcast, and you was available. We did. That's we all. had a meeting of the minds. We did. We did. I appreciate Fucking, that. I yeah. really appreciate that, well, Danny. It's bullshit. I think you're going to factor. Police. You're going to factor really big in my comeback. Oh yeah, good. So. Well, put me over there at the nwordtoast.com and I'll you know we'll link to this over there, <laughs> and that's fine. We got over here. Mariana, yeah. Mrs. Fireplug, and Fireplug, yeah. her husband. Toot yeah. toot. That's my catchphrase. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's what? the sound yeah. that Fireplug makes. Oh, jeez. Yeah. And I <laughs> you are bad with sounds. I'm going to yeah. tell you that right now. Okay. You're all right. right. Come on. Let's all right. Let's make a fucking God sound. damn it. All right. All right. Oh, now, I got to ask before we do what? this. Uh, Bert, you got any more chips? It's Bertrand, and no, I ain't got no more chips. You ate them all. Well, you should have brought more chips if you're going to host a party. Christ. The Tar Babies are ready. Oh! Oh Let's eat some Tar Babies. Let's do this. Dig in, everybody. Is that what that smell is? Yeah, you're supposed to just eat them with your fingers. That's mostly the coconut oil. sticky. You can't say you don't like it unless you try it. Now, so far, listener at home in your party, you have, I don't remember what we did first. What did we do first? Sound effects. Sound you effects. Thought. The best game ever. We played the sound of, guess that sound game. And then we learned how to make the tar babies over there in the kitchen, the ladies did. And the guys talked about bones. And then we, we played the make a new ethnic joke game. Yeah. And now, we're going to play Name That Tune. All okay? Right. But here's the situation. Okay. Yeah, what is it? I, the problem is... I don't want to get sued by any of these people that wrote these fucking songs. I'm not going to pay fucking royalties. I'm not going to write a check for five thousand dollars to Mick Jagger or some it's, bullshit like this that. Record company's very litigious. It's bu- exactly. <laughs> you put a song out there that you didn't pay to have. Next thing you know, you got fucking lawsuits on your doorstep. So we're going to do sound alike. Name that tune. And so we're going to sing. We're going to. Yeah, and Jimmy Blaze. I'm going to talk about Jimmy Blaze in a second. Is going to play 
so music that sounds like a popular song, and then we're going to make up lyrics that is similar to what the song, but it can't be too close. Or she gets sued. Yeah. Or she gets sued. And, and then, then when do we name it? You name it when you know it. You name it when you know what it's supposed to be. So okay. it's not, look, I'll say it right now. It's not an ideal name that tune because it's not, we're not literally playing the song that you're trying to name, but we're playing a song that's going to be a little bit like the song you're trying to name, right? Yeah. And you had a problem with my sound effects game. <laughs> Danny, Margaret's going to be home soon, you yeah. know, and she's not going to like this. Well, she, this is the biggest party pooper of all, his fucking wife, Margaret. And if she comes home while we're still doing this, we'll bring her in here and we'll try to have some fun. Yeah, guess who nobody likes? Your wife, Margaret. That's for sure. <laughs> that's a good joke. That's like a riddle. Now, Jimmy Blades over here, you and I met. I did a gay wedding, and this was a, thing, a, a pro bono situation. I was not hired to do that, but I showed up. I found out it was going to be a gay wedding, and I said, these guys got a lot of disposable income, these gays. And I showed up, and they were not expecting me to entertain at their wedding. And to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of people that did not want me there, but we had a lot of fucking fun. Because I was like, hey, whose side are you on? The groom's side or the groom's side? Jokes like that all night long. And we had a lot of fun. And I talked about, I got a little loose and I talked about, you know, some things that are in the Bible that are just facts that are in the Bible. <laughs> and that was... It was, you kept it light? It was I jokes? kept it light. It was jokes yeah. and stuff no, like that. you're good at a party. We had a lot of fucking fun. Was this guy one of the guys getting gay married? No, no, no. Oh. Don't say that about Jimmy Blades now. Jimmy no, was in the band. No, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was part of a different company yeah. then. Now yeah. I'm part of Danny's company. Very happy to be here. Now he Jimmy really is my well. one employee of Life at a Party Incorporated. That's and now right. he comes around with me because previous to this, I had a boom box that I would bring around to play my music on. And the problem is it took 8D batteries and... Get, having eight simultaneous fresh D batteries turned out to be overwhelmingly difficult because That's, I got my batteries in a gym bag and a couple of times I accidentally unloaded the dead batteries into this gym bag. So it was like 80 batteries in there. You got your life in a gym bag. You got your whole life in a gym bag. It's a heavy gym bag. Anyway, so that was a problem. So now I got this guy over here, Jimmy Blaze, with a keyboard. Let's hear it. Pure. And he's gay? I don't know. No, 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 no. Oh. See, I was working at the party. Uh huh. Yeah. I was with a previous company called Take My Wife Keys. <laughs> yeah. And we would come to these Sound mostly like a... did divorces at the time. Oh, I thought that was Is like that a right? swingers thing. Right. Yeah, right. Oh, because before that you were a funeral DJ, right? I'd be interested in I a did some work like at... a swingers. No, thing. yeah, that's a different company called Take My Wife's Keys. Oh, but that's, is that like designated drivers? No, it's no, a, no, it's a it's swinger party. That's the swinger party. Yeah. Oh, yeah. honey, write that down. It's hard to break through. There's a lot of businesses out there, a lot of niche businesses yeah, out there. Exactly. It's hard plugs, to break hey, through. Take plugs, write that really down. Important. I'm going to try. I know all about it. But so now you're uh, now you're with Life at a Party Incorporated, and you come with me, and a lot of the time, we're not, we're not, we have not been invited or scheduled or that's expected, true. and we'd show up and we'd do these things just to sort of make some contacts. And, it makes it fun. Yeah. And Wedding crashers. Yeah, like sure, 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 sure. Basement crashers. Come on, Bert. Please. It's Bertrand. Is, I basically, Bertrand. Live, I basically live here. I basically live here. Against our wills. That window is so easy to break. Can't even right. fucking appreciate a party in his own basement. You didn't have to do any work. Yeah, right. I was going to give you I was gonna clean up this shit. I want to give you a little advice. Yeah. You look very much more like a Bert than a Bertrand. You yeah. look like a and Bert. And I think you'll go further in life if you go with the Bert thing. Yeah. I tasted your tar babies and I spit them out. Listen wow. to her. She's on oh. TV. Hey. Let's play this game. You must have a cold. Here's how this is going to work. Let's Listeners at home, we know what the songs are here, right? Do we? Listeners at home, you're going to have to guess what the song is, okay? So, and as I explain, we can't sing the actual lyrics. Or so have people call in. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We'll leave a gap and they'll figure it out. Right. So who's the... Uh, who wants to go first? Sing I'll the song. go first. All right, Donnie. Donnie, over here. All right, here. you know what song? We're going to do this one first. I'm showing our piece of paper. We so can't read your fucking all. writing. Ah, uh, come on. You can't read that? I can't read it. This one over here. All right. All right, all right. Here we go. All right, here we go. All right. Ho! Ho! Well, hey, Chicago is great. City by the lake. I want to watch a Bears game in old Chicago. That's all right, where all right, I want right. to be. Who's, anybody at home got the answer to what song that is? Here's where I'll leave like a couple of seconds and you shout it out. Let me say this. If you don't fucking know what song that was supposed to be, you're a fucking idiot. If you're throwing a party with a room full of people and nobody could guess it, you got you fucking morons. Yeah, I don't, don't, know, how, I don't know how they put yeah. on their pants and found their way here. Don't so it's like you don't even yourself. want them to call. Yeah, like, yeah, let's yeah. Not even leave, let's not even leave a room. We played enough of the song. You know? Who right, here wants to say the obvious of what song that's yeah. supposed to be? Yes. 
Yeah. New York, New York, yeah, Sinatra. New York, right. Frank uh, Sinatra, Sinatra, the huh? most racist That's man. You didn't get it, Renee? <laughs> oh, I'm from I'm the sorry. South. All right. Here, let's do a hippie song next. All right, I'm next. Uh, you going to do it? What am I doing? You can, I'm sorry that I'm the one that wrote these down. Laryngitis? No. What does that say? <laughs> That's not what it says. Oh, I see it. Okay, here we go. Let's pretend there's no church people It's pretty simple if you do that Let's pretend there's no sky Or earth underneath our feet Let's pretend the people Living on the street I don't want to hear that part. What? That's All the right. best part. That's I don't want to hear you go. That's why really getting into it. God, you're so insulting. That today. was okay. Can you guess what it was? What do you say, Bert? I say, uh, listen, uh, seriously, she's coming home. Okay. And she's going to throw That's me out. That's not the name of the song. She's going to throw me out of the house. That song is not called She's, she's Coming Home. She's going to throw me out of the house. Just imagine. Hey! hey. Yeah, man, imagine. Yeah, imagine. Imagine that. Yeah, I can imagine. try one. I can try one. Ringo stars imagine. Yeah, I'll try. I can imagine try one. that. You got it right. Imagine yeah. you get your yeah. own apartment. I oh. would love to. Imagine oh. imagine you hire me back in, for bummer. the business that Such I helped found bummer. with your father. And I go, I, yeah, yeah. asshole. Listen, yeah, I could like, try imagine one. Imagine this guy fires you and then yells at you for not no, having money. Cool. I don't, it's like I want to pretend he's not even. I look here and I just see an empty space. You can uh. do everything for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> they are never grateful. Yeah. No. yeah. They are never grateful. Don't be his well, you. I mean don't that- cry. Renee, don't you cry because it's, I'm not crying. Oh. I'm not crying. That basically happened to you with the whole like country. Lip. Don't feel sorry for me you because so I much. will cry All if right. you feel sorry for me. That's how. That's what gets I'm her. Fine. But she's right. All right. I could try one. I You're going to do the next one? Yeah, okay. You know what it is? Here we go. Because I'm here and I want to hear a, a tune guy. <laughs> so that's pretty good, right? I got it. Babe. <laughs> Did you get it? Hey. I fall in love with you every day over and over again. Listen, I like it. You made it challenging. Tune yeah. guy, right? Stay with heaven, tune right? Guy. You know? Stay Give me a tune heaven. guy. No, it's not. Tune guy. Stay with heaven. Listen, huh? I don't no, know. it's not no. stay with heaven. Oh. That wasn't it. It was very obviously you not made... that. Come on. Bohemian was... Rhapsody? Was it Joel? Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. It was, was it Billy Joel? Joel. Billy right. Joel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Allentown. Yeah. Allentown. Because you're the, cause uh, you're the guy BJ. that does the tunes. You know? Good night, Saigon. Guy. Good night, Saigon. Moving out. Waterworks every time. What was that thing he did there with the, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It right. was uh, it's, uh, Oliver and Company. That oh, was, yeah. Doris Truman, Ricky J, Red China, Billy Ray. 9-11, yeah, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Go underground. Have, have some, some fun. fun. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a good yeah. tune. Hey, you got a little banana on your face, Donnie, on your chin. <laughs> yeah, I know. Do. Yeah, just keep it there. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I don't know. Not supposed to have banana on my chin? <laughs> you don't need to Did eat you banana. eat all our bananas? Hey, wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Let me brush it up with my whisk broom. Those, hey, there thanks. you go. Uh, yeah. Those Listen. are for the kids' lunches, okay? It's not a potty without a little bananas. Bananas. bananas, yeah, I put them in my kids' lunches. I can have the fruit roll-ups, though, right? <laughs> no, that's for the kids' lunches. I can't have the fruit roll-ups? Yeah, everything's for the kids' lunches. Jesus. All right, who's next? Ridiculous. All right. Who, who wants to be next? Who didn't do one? You got it. All right, you ready? Yeah, sure. You know which one we're going to do? I think we're going to do this one here, right? All right, sure, sure. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can read your script. My handwriting is, is, is absurd. That's why we can't. We couldn't let you look, fill out the invoices for the plumbing jobs. Nobody could read uh, it. Nobody, nobody knew what they were getting charged for. I got nothing That's how the business works. Nobody can call up and say you overcharged me because they can't read it. That's basic business. You write something illegibly <laughs> next to a bunch of numbers and you can charge whatever the fuck you want. Why don't you let it's me write it with what my you don't know. hand? Business, I can do a better job. Amazing than that. what you don't know. All right, here we go.
itch. Pure, I it's hate creeping it. across the floor. Like a thief in the night. Something of magic. He's coming towards your bed. He's leaving a slimy trail. He might pick your pocket. It's Danny. Or what? he might it's swipe Danny. your He's purse. describing Danny. Fuck he you. Might You're sleeping down, you're creeping That's down the rude. trail. Exactly. Yeah, Danny's uh, song, Elton John. <laughs> That's not it. That was, you got a beautiful <laughs> singing like voice, Rene Dupre. Danny's song. Extraordinary. Kenny Loggins. Who's got a guess? It's What's a song it? about um, a monster in wait, Scotland. Puff the ma- like, like Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> What's that guy's name? Uh, it's not Puff the Magic Dragon. Well, no, he looks like in the land of Hanalee. This you know, is a tough like the one. Lake of Scotland. You got a guess out there in your party? Did somebody get it at your party? Because, okay, we're going to give away the answer. The werewolf in London. Is that the name of the song? I didn't even. I've never heard that song. (laughs) You never. (laughs) Warren Oates. I don't know. I just was creeped out for a minute, so I sang a monster Uh, song. All right, Uh, let's do the hood. Did you do one yet? I ain't do one. Here we go. You gotta. Which you can choose one from these last two that's on the list. Out of this last one. You're the last one. Okay. Here we go. Bert's gonna sing. This one's for you, Danny. All right, thank you. Working all day really sucks when you come home to see you. Sitting down in my basement, chewing on your shoe. He's not chewing on my shoe. Wouldn't you want to go away? Sometimes I want to say, would you just get out of my life? Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. You're causing tension with my wife. Do, 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 do. You killed my dad. I watched I him die. I did not die. kill your father. He ate some asbestos. He made me cry. He never ate it. He breathed it. What in. the hell's wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. The only thing wrong with me is that you fired me. Jimmy, stop playing this insult. Why are you accompanying him in an insulting song? Sometimes you just want to go. You told me, Danny, to what? never stop playing. That's the your rule number one. Well, that's that you true gave because me. a lot of times yeah, I'm being NSP, thrown out NSP. or whatever of a party, and you know I need you to keep playing. That's right. That's also our motto: NSP, never stop partying. Never yeah. stop partying. NSP. Party NSP. Bert. Party. Toot toot. That was bullshit and insulting and terrible. And when I heard, when I saw you were going to play it, sing that song, that's a sweet song, right? Yeah. The theme song to cheese, if you can forget. It's a, bitter, it's, a pre- it's a bittersweet song. It's a sweet song about, you know, it hurts where it. everybody knows your face, like right. here in your basement. Yeah, sometimes you want to go to that place. Family and but stuff what, if you, like that. what if that place doesn't exist? I'm amazed you, you turn, turn your own song, song against him. You yeah. turn, you turn your own game, game. Your game against you. I don't fucking believe it. It's Bertrand, Danny. by the way. Bertrand. You ruined cheers. I'm named after a poet. Which poet? What poet? Bertrand. I don't know him. All right, let's do it. I'm going to sing one now. Take it home, Danny. Here we go. That one there. Ready? Oh, that's good. Beautiful. Oh. Fuck you, Bert. <laughs> Fuck you in the fucking face for firing me like that for no fucking reason. I didn't do shit to deserve to get fired. I started a fucking business with your father. He and I from day one had this business together. We said, let's go into business, make some fucking money and fuck people on their pipes. We were in that together. And I was trying to run the business as best I can. He ended up dying. Nobody knows what. They're trying to say his fucking heart would have had his best in it. That's bullshit. And then you, I, I believe you, I'm not happy he died. Then you tell me you're fired. You're fired. You tell me I'm fired because I fall asleep for three days? People fall asleep. You can't control how long you're going to sleep for if you don't set a fucking alarm. I'm worried we're going to have to pay rights for the song. Candle in the wind. It's right? So Candle in the wind. Is that the theme for Manny? Boy, you really nailed it, Danny. <laughs> Fuck you. You did that with your song and I did it with mine. You turned your song into an attack. I did the same fucking thing. And I went last, so I win. Now, look. Ugh. <sighs> I'm going to be living in this basement for as long as it takes for Life of the Party Incorporated to take off with the help of nwordtoes.com. We're going to be on there pretty soon. It better take off Thank by this you. afternoon. <laughs> you guys should go on Shark slowly. Tank. Pitch it, pitch it to Cuban and, uh, and oh, such. How yeah? many Cubans yeah, yeah, does yeah, it take to be idea. on Shark Tank? Yeah, good. How many? Uh, Uno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do- here's my little friend. Yeah. <laughs> Because they got to swim over. Hey! <laughs> so, anyways, that was what was it? Easy like Sunday morning? I think you could probably figure right. that one out. Easy right. like Sunday boring. Not a good song. <laughs>
<laughs> I like it though. All right. What else? Did anybody have anything to plug? Yeah. I'm yeah. doing Shakespeare in a park next Sunday. Get out of here. Yeah, it's true. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Playing Malvolio that. in Twelfth Night. You're kidding me. Yeah, it's true. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. That's huge. The real Shakespeare in a real, like, Central Park? Yeah, I thought maybe you guys would take the piss out of me, but uh, it's something I've been wanting to do. That's beautiful. Thanks, I got man. a game show. I got a game yeah. show that's going to be, I just pitched it to Mark Cuban. Uh, it's about who, which homeless person is really blind. How does this work? You Ooh. just, like, you fuck with the homeless man and figure out who's, if he's really blind or not, you know? Like if he's faking it? Yeah, like if he's faking it. Like most of them are faking it. They're all liars. You just poke him in the eyes? No, you do stuff like, like you know, like you take out, like like if you're a guy, you could take out your nutsack. And like if, if he Ooh. goes like, oh, gross, yeah. get that out of my face. That guy's fucking lying, you know? Right, right. You could get him real hilarious. close yeah. to his face. Yeah. <laughs> Shine a little laser pointer in his eye like I, I do to our kids. So that's going to be on NBC this, in the fall. You're, you're, you're pitching this yeah. on NBC? And right. what's yeah. it called again? When were you going to tell me this? What? I'm telling you right now. Jesus Christ, that's great. Maybe she was Maybe. afraid you were going to get babe. involved in the sounds on the show and she didn't yeah. want to. All right. We've already hired people to do the sounds. Is that right? Nice. Is you, you're you're, you're yeah. really doing this. What's what it called again so people can look it's for called, it? It's called Blind or Not. Blind or Not. All right. Okay, you're going to find out which homeless people Cuban are really production. blind. It's very not. web. Yeah. Well, I you think that's also, great. You that's could very web. It, uh, I think a little catchier name would be Who Bees Blind. Who Bees Blind. Who Bees Blind. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to talk to my Cuban right now. Because a lot of these homeless yeah. are full of shit. They're so full they of shit. They got places you know? to live, yeah. these assholes. Yeah. A lot let me, of let me put on my dirty homeless, homeless yeah. ones, huh? Take us. Uh, yeah. A lot of homeless people. They got plenty of places to live. They break into basements. Is that what you're talking about? All of a sudden, all the homelessness should be breaking into basements. Are you try to suggest I'm a homeless person. I'm just saying. I'm not a homeless person. I'm just saying I have you're a full home of shit. Right so here. are a lot of the homeless people. I got a home right here. I don't know why the guy that owns a house doesn't accept that. Home is where your hoard is. Thank you very much. Your what? No. Your hoard. What's a hoard? Uh, your family. Your hoard. Oh. Where inside yourself. That's how a person from Atlantic pronounces the heart. <laughs> so you are. <laughs> you know how my dad pronounced heart. Oh, Jesus. Oh, always with this. You, I could do Damn a better you? sound effect. Hey, I, I like to, if, if I can, I'd like to plug something. Okay, sure. I'm uh, for all you people out there listening. Uh, uh, Mahoney and uh, Mahoney's uh, is looking for a, a qualified plumber. Oh. We're looking for a plumber. <laughs> We're looking. Yeah, yeah, the hours right. are really Fucking good. Kidding me. We need them to be on time and oh. prompt. Cannot be an alcoholic. Cannot break in uh, into basements. You're never gonna find a plumber like that. I'm a you plumber. are never gonna find a plumber that's not an alcoholic. How many plumbers? How many plumbers does it take to break a boy's heart? <laughs> Just one of them, and he's in, in the, he's, he's in my basement. I guarantee one you, one plumber can crack a boy's heart in half. <laughs> plumbers crack. That's pretty good. <laughs> toot toot. That's pretty toot, fun. Toot, 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 toot to that. Yeah, toot toot plugs. I'm gonna edit that part out, and I'm gonna edit out your song. You, by by the time I'm done with this thing, it's gonna be like, you know, hey, here comes Bert. Thanks, Bert. It's Bertrand. Oh, me. My yeah. project. My project. What do you got? Well, I'm going to go with what you suggested and yeah. do Entos.com. Maybe Entosworld.com. Okay, good. Because that um, one, the other one's taken. I can already taken. speak to that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you sure? Well, maybe Entos.net. Uh huh, sure. Entos.org. Dot luxury. Dot clothing. They dot, just heard a thing on TV. the news. Dot dot TV. TV. Okay. Dot luxury. Dot TV. I'm, I'm going to get them all. Why not? Sure. Yeah. Do it. Do it. It's just money. You're loaded, right? Are you still loaded? Well, uh, with sausage. Toot <laughs> <laughs> ah, toot. Don't, we hungry. don't talk about money. All right. Hey, I, off the air, I want to find out precisely right. how much All you right. have. <laughs> Donnie, what do right. you got coming up? I'm not building a go kart for my daughter. And, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Ungrateful. Uh, she is. She got all bees, so I uh, built her a go kart, blow up wheels and everything. Now these plastic jobbers. Nice, go nice uh, lawnmower engine. She wants me to paint it pink. Ungrateful bitch. Uh. But you know, I'm doing it. Whatever. I bought some pink paint. It's gonna be nice. Donnie, I don't want to hear about you eating this fucking go kart. Please don't put it in your mouth. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth. Okay. I don't want to have experience like I just experienced ever again. Uh, all right. But yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good. Thanks, Donnie. Jimmy Blades, what do you got coming up over there? Thanks for asking, Danny. Uh, on the 25th, yeah. as you know, I've yeah. got a wedding for straights. Oh, yeah. You know, We're doing so a straight please, wedding. And we invite anyone to crash that. As you know, we've, we've worked it out that uh, right. you can come by, get you know, help yourself to the buffet. Yeah. Straights don't mind. No, they don't mind. They're very They're hospitable. All that. you guys can come to this wedding. Could yeah. I sneak, it's going to be at the tavern on the green. Some food into the buffet. Oh, these people would That's go fucking bananas. That's how you get them yeah. hooked. 
This is a wedding. It's very. These people, I get the feeling, are very rich. It's over there at Tavern on the Green. Yeah, over yeah, there in exactly. the Central Park. And we are all. We're all going to show up if we're all available. Not you, Bert. I don't want them to not have fun. Do they need any sound effects? Uh, Maybe. And you. And if you show up and bring a recipe, they're going to go fucking bananas. So that'd be great. All right. Folks, thank you for listening to Shut Up and Have Fun with Danny Mahoney. Thank you for throwing your party with us and for inviting us to your party and for playing along with these games. Now, next time, I don't know if we're ever going to get the chance to do this again. It's a pilot, and I hope that you pick it up as a pilot. But uh, next time, if we get to do it again, I think we are going to go ahead and do a wake or, uh, or a funeral or something like that. We'll do that kind of party. It'll be the same crew hanging out. Bert, you're welcome to join us if you get into a party spirit. I'm putting bars on the windows. <laughs> I could do a whole theme Jeez. menu with lots of black food. Yeah. Because, you know, people, we, why should we wear black? We can just eat black. I love that. All right. That's beautiful. Blacks. Sounds like I'm going to have to buy myself a hacksaw to come in here and be a part of that. If there's bars on the windows, which no problem getting through bars, you got a hacksaw. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. We had a lot of fun. And uh, fuck you, Bert. Fuck Bye. you. Yeah, fuck you, Bert. Toot toot. Yep. Uh, my opinion has not changed. Okay, right. You still, uh, you still think what these people are monsters? Sure. <laughs> not a, not a, not an, a redeemable soul among them. Maybe. Except for Bert, maybe Bertrand. Well, yeah. That poor guy. That yeah. poor guy. And I would say, yeah, if you if you're in the tri-state area, you have plumbing needs. Uh, <laughs> Please, yeah, give that guy a call because it sounds like he's got a lot of struggles, and he would he would probably like to move to a new house and maybe not give out the address. Or if you're a plumber and you need work, he's looking for one too. <laughs> Apparently, looking for a plumber. Mm. So okay, uh, that was extraordinary and uh, <laughs> horrific, and uh, but but enjoyable, and I think important. I yeah, think it, in the end, for academic purposes, yes, important. When they someday. Do, do a, a sweeping academic work on the history of podcasts, uh, the fact that something like this was made and considered as a pilot will be important information. It's like Triumph of the Will, the uh -huh. Nazi propaganda film, is considered important in filmmaking. Thank you. This Okay, now I'm in. Good. Now I'm in. Yeah. That, finally, you've justified the inclusion of this episode in our series, which is called The Andy Daly Podcast Pilot Project. And thank you for listening to it. A few things to tell you about. This episode becomes available on March the 13th, which is the day that episode two of Review airs, Thursday, 10 p.m. Comedy Central. You've already seen the first episode yes. and are coming back. You love it. Of course. Yes. Who wouldn't come back for the second episode? This isn't even a reminder so much as a right. celebration. Just a celebration. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And episode two is a crazy, crazy episode of Review. <laughs> crazy things happen. And I'll tell you right now. Uh, I, as the actor playing Forrest McNeil in Review, uh, don't wear a lot of clothes for a lot of episode two. <laughs> oh. You'll see some skin. Teaser. So. <laughs> Teaser. <laughs> With that disclaimer in mind, please tune in anyway. So some things to thank people for. Uh, thank you so much to Billy Merritt and to Dave Wilder, WilderStyleMusic.com, to Aaron Hayes, to John Daly, to Sarah Thayer, Bob Dassey, James Bladen. Uh, is that right? Am I saying that right? That's right. I knew I was. <laughs> Who's sitting here right now? And very special thanks to Mike Furman and Donna Furman for their incredible work on Danny Mahoney's beautiful theme song, Get Up Out Your Seat and Dance. And uh, what else can I tell you about? I'm going to be in San Francisco at the Independent on April 5th. I'll be in Portland on April the 12th and Seattle on April the 13th. You can check out any dates for any place I'm going to be or anything that's happening in my life at andydaily.com. All righty. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Please join us next week for another podcast pilot. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> A very special thanks to NatureBox for supporting today's episode. NatureBox is a monthly subscription service that delivers better snacks straight to you. And not just any snacks. They don't just go down to 7-Eleven and throw some things in a bag and mail it to you. These snacks are both tasty and not bad for you. There is no high fructose corn syrup in there. No hydrogenated oils. Yuck, that stuff is gross. No artificial flavors or artificial colors. 
Wow. Healthy snacks. Go to naturebox.com slash Andy to get 50% off your first box. That's at naturebox.com slash Andy today for 50% off. Thanks for listening. This has been an Earwolf production. Executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Chris Bannon, and Colin Anderson. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. This holiday season, Earwolf wants to spread some cheer. Cheerwolf, if you will. We've got special episodes all over the network just for you. Andrew T. and Tawny Newsom talk to Kulop Vile, I can't pronounce this, about holiday racism on Yo! Is This Racist? That sounds fun. Unspooled takes a deep dive into AFI's favorite Christmas movie, It's a Wonderful Life. Offbook has not one, not two, not four, but three holiday-themed musicals for you to indulge in? Surprise! All the special holiday episodes of With Special Guests are out from behind the paywall as a gift to you. You can also check out a very special Improv for Humans episode, Best of the Bible. On Are You Talking R.E.M. Remi, the Scots talk about every R.E.M. holiday single released and nothing else. Sean and Hayes hit the slopes with Adam Pally on a very festive episode of Hollywood Handbook. Beautiful Anonymous, Chris Gethard is taking calls for New Year's resolutions. Tune in on Earwolf's Facebook page December 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern. Marissa uh, and Listler get a special listener call in with a heartfelt proposal on Womp It Up. Followed by the Christmas Womptacular released from behind the paywall and if that's not enough check out even more special holiday apps from how did this get made getting curious who charted freedom of course comedy bang bang happy holidays happy listening and a merry cheer wolf to all so much stuff so much cheer cheer wolf <laughs>